Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition live. Here comes the lame, the second longest running episodic podcast on the Boulevard Bullies YouTube channel, but by far the most intelligent. Hello, I am PK with the Boulevard Bullies, and good afternoon. I'm joined in the flagship home of the flagship Joe of the flagship show. Can they see me? I'm just gonna. I'm if leading, gonna be I'm just over leading in front of the camera. Can you? Can, oh, okay. oh, is it like? Is, am I being a boomer? Like I could just sit here. And, I can, well, I could just do that. Here, you know what? Let's, can they hear us? That's my. Can you hear us? Can you see, see us? us? Yeah. Don't back up. If you do, the modem will get hit, Every and then we'll lose thing. the entire feed. Okay, we're, <laughs> it's we're the guy. On the a guy plan. installed it really haphazardly. So, uh, Joe, let me just say to you, thank you so much for having me in your home. Yeah, and welcome everyone to my welcome my welcome. girlfriend's home. Clap it up, <laughs> clap it up, everybody. We got we got a live studio audience, and uh, there is a lot to talk about. Yeah. You didn't think that I was going to survive last night and show up, but. In fact, I did. Yeah, I guilt, I guilt trip you into being responsible. You know, you're just, I was coming into this weekend wanting to be the most responsible version of myself, and you are still more responsible than that version of myself that doesn't even exist that I was trying to manifest. Mm -hmm. So, like, you went home 1230 last night. I was home, I was there, and I was already home mentally. <laughs> Because it was like 1030 and some guy was like sneezing on me in the crowd once the band went on at Eat the Turnbuckle. Was there a more NPC crowd for any show? Like, I feel like it was full of, like, it, the wrestling fans were the ones with the personalities. But it was full of like ringworm fans who were like, hey. Yeah, this like corny <laughs> white dude, like, just like, <laughs> just like, like, what's going on? Like, who are these like other fans here at this show? I also saw a lot of like old industry people there. I didn't speak to them once, but you know, old restaurant folk, and I'm just like, oh, I'm like eating fries at like the merch table, and then like, wait, I'm so like, you, oh wait, I you was ate a server. the fries. You ate the you ate the bowling alley fries from the venue. Yeah, and those are the ones I offered to you. Yeah, and I threw them right in the goddamn garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, you were putting on your garbage ass ref fucking shirt, like <laughs> never been the washed. The ref shirt that from ten years ago that's never been washed smelled better than the fries right. from the venue. I figured that was like the easiest thing to probably uh, not get food poisoning from. I mean, either chicken fingers um, dude, or wake up. They had Philly cheesesteak egg rolls. Yeah, I've been sick at a wrestling show before, so <laughs> I got sick at the 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 ROH. Um, New Japan show at the Garden. I passed that on the N train in, be in between Atlantic <laughs> Avenue and 36th Street. Well, because you had the fries, because you can't help yourself. Yeah, to yeah. And I passed out, and I was a gig that was bleeding, and then I just walked home, and I was, I was like, Dad, like, yeah, I hard weight myself. And the MTA workers are like, Sir, can we uh, help you out? Remember that? That was that New York mania we went to. WrestleMania I think memories. So. Yeah. Being or it was the other one we didn't go to and kind of did. I, I ended up going home. I, uh, they all kind of like blurs together. So uh, for those of you who aren't in the know on the Boulevard Bullies uh, channel, here comes the lame versus the world, all these things. Uh, last night was Eat the Turnbuckles final show, which was a Boulevard Bullies shit show for months and months and months of planning up until it. But Jedi Joe rolled through. He bought me a beverage. Bought me a beverage with... Uh, Mark money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're doing pretty well on this uh, trip so far. By the so. way, guys, you got to really be here to see the sheets and sheets of data, the, the memorabilia. I, was, I, I feel like I was in WWE store today walking yeah. through your home. I was flipping through the program like a Mark. Uh, so you drove to like the back parking lot of the airport and sold... Some guy, some divorced dad. Uh, yeah, I went to uh, <laughs> I went to the Marriott by the airport to do a transaction off of eBay, so that was pretty cool. But and then and then and then, back, and then, then I came waving your wallet around. Yeah, and I came back <laughs> and then met up with you, and that's when I met up with you. And I hid the cash like in the spare tire of my trunk because I was I'm walking around with like a thousand dollars cash because everyone's giving me that's cash. That. He's 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 being too. He's lying. He walked in. Waving the thousand dollars, like drinks on me, everybody. I had one round of everybody. That was it. 
Because I couldn't make that bet on the Sixers game because there was no uh, signal. I was betting on them to come back, and oh then they did God. come back, and I was so pissed. There was no fucking signal in the joint. That's right. Uh, a theme of this show. I did show. get the Embiid points bet. That did. Well, listen, we're doing a special broadcast, a three-hour broadcast. Or maybe we'll do two and a half since we were a half an hour late. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But, but it wouldn't be Here Comes Lame if we didn't talk sports. Yeah. And I need to tell you, number one, Mets won their first game. Oh, Watch yeah. out, NL East. Yeah. And uh, I was secondly, on the Tiger's money line on that one. You well, that's that's the thing that I really wanted to talk about. It's not in the notes. I'm already off the notes yeah. because the thing that I love during football season is you explaining to me how you're watching TV upstairs and something catastrophic happens and you throw a tantrum and run down here yeah. and cool jump down. into your bed to cool down, <laughs> like face first, like Aah. and the Mets did that to you yeah. uh, the other night, which makes me so happy. First win. And, and it's it's funny because last night we're in person, right? So it's not like a pod story. It's just like a friend story, which made it so much more visceral to me. Like, wow, like this you, guy. You got this, what you deserve. This, <laughs> this, calm, this calm guy that I'm talking to face to face is telling me about how he pegged the remote. Yeah, I threw the remote. Upset my girlfriend and and, and then uh, and then came down here. He went full And then got upset story. again because it tied and then they won. So there was still a the bet was still alive, and then I went upstairs. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to this show. I'm I'm out. Right, and then but then the show did not have good Wi-Fi or or internet, so then you couldn't chase. Yeah. I couldn't like yeah chase my losses, <laughs> which then would have been paid for the parking ticket I got. Yeah, which everyone got. Yo, Philadelphia parking tickets. They they had some like discount thrift store parking tickets, thirty six dollars. Yeah. Yo, I'll just won't pay. I'll just. Walk around with a ticket. I don't New York pay. City, $85. They call me every day. <laughs> I don't fucking pay. Oh, so they don't even come after you. Well, as long as you don't have three, you don't get a boot, right? I yeah, feel like you need uh, a lot something. more. You need a lot to get a boot. Yeah. I, I, I could have sworn it was three. So I technically now I have two. One super outstanding. They're like, you're going to face co- uh, uh, jail time for this. I'm like, wow, you guys just scare tactic everybody now. Parking tribunal. Like post-pandemic, they just say anything. Like, aliens are going to come down <laughs> and probe your ass. Like, oh, I'm good. You're, you're, no. I'm not giving you any more money. So. <laughs> so we did, we survived to eat the turnbuckle. And like I said, last week I said, number one priority, don't be weird to Joe when I'm in his home. Number two priority. Don't burn the house down. Don't burn the house down. Number three. With cigarette butts. Yeah. Do a little bit of drugs. Yeah. And then, and normally my number one priority, a lot of drugs, was all the way down. And I think that I accomplished that goal. I think yeah. that I accomplished that goal. We've only been in the house an hour or so, so <laughs> Anything relax. can happen. Anything yeah. can happen. I mean, if you're like staying this- here tonight, like... <laughs> Right, I don't want to fill myself with a false sense of uh, security. Yeah, and then it's like, motherfucker. Like, I, I knew it. Yeah. I knew Go it. Go back to Brian's. <laughs> Go back to Brian's. Go back to Brian's where you belong. It's, it's Section 8 housing, yeah. Uh, yeah, so uh, the hotel that we stayed at last night, um, half of like the left side of the building, the outlets didn't work. And for the right side of the building, the outlets did work. So I was on the uh, pull-out sofa, which I might as well have been in central booking, sleeping on a bench. But uh, <laughs> I, so I go to, I go to, so I'm like, okay, the right side works. So I plug in my phone, and I swear to God, Joe, by the time I wake up in the morning, the left side of the building's power is on. So <laughs> my like phone touched the wire <laughs> yeah, and the circuit like breaker. Something hit like... something. So we had a great time, and then, you know. I, I'm in Philly. I'm in like a metropo- major metropolitan city. So I'm like, oh, it's 2 a.m. Let's just hit up a 7-Eleven and get some beers. Like, no, it's not, uh, no, that's not how it works. Oh, no. not here. We and only then- got alcohol in supermarkets like, what, seven years ago? Something like, Yo, like Wegmans today, and stuff. I'm trying to find a beer. I go to, I'm going to CVS. Like, oh, okay, there's probably like a few beers at CVS, like in New York. No, there's no. not. We're, you guys are more of like um. Well, it's free. More of a ma- heroin. Freemason, Pennsylvania. That's, oh, is that what it is? That's what it was. It's all the Freemasons and all their weird rules and shit forever. The Puritans. Huh. Well, yeah. So it was a quest to find beer. So so we're at like a like the Section 8 housing hotel near the airport. And it's like, okay, well, I at least need a snack. I at least need some bogeys. So there's a Wawa. And by the way, I don't trust Pennsylvania Wawas. I trust South Jersey Wawas. But I don't know, a Philly airport Wawa, it was a little tricky. So that was a little bit scary. 
you know, like to me, I'm like, yo, I'm just going to walk on the side of the highway, go to Wawa. It's like, no, we need to take an Uber there and like don't get into a car with tinted windows at the Section 8 housing hotel that's not your Uber. Mm. It, was, it got a little bit real, got a little scary, but we survived. That's good. Well, I mean, you survived a day here, so we still one, have a few more days. Here. One single, right, and now I'm already The way counting. things are going, you know, already exhausted and already one party night. I think that's probably the extent of the party we're probably going to do, I think. Yeah, you know, we'll- You're last, not here all weekend anyway. No, well, I'm, I'm leaving Sunday afternoon, and um, last night I was laying in bed with my entire world spinning, realizing that um, I need to, uh, you know, just drink waters for the rest of the weekend. Yeah. Because the show was wild. Oh, there you go. Got Thanks. this. Is that well, mine? Mm. I already spilled mine, actually. So what's our what's our itinerary for the rest of the uh, weekend? We are we're doing this, and then we're going to go to get something. Delisandros. Delisandros. We'll have to call ahead because it's like a call forty-five ahead. minute wait for cheesesteaks, and then uh, we're gonna go Ring of Honor after this. So. Well, I mean, I could miss like the first. 75% of the Ring of Honor show for cheesesteaks. I'm kind of bummed that the, the, the Continental Breakfast is not on the... The Continental Breakfast... So nobody's putting their money where their mouth is on the show that we're going to? No. Oh, God damn it. There will be titles, but not the Continental Classic one. So is this this show that we're going to tonight, this big Ring of Honor super... What, what's the actual title of the show? I don't want to say... Super Card of Honor. Super Card of Honor. All right, that's what I was going to... It's gonna... the one... Back when they first started doing Mania Weekend in like 2006, that was the first ever like Super Card oh, of Honor. And that's the so one that tradition. they did at MSG, right? Didn't Correct, they? Correct, yes. Yeah, that was like a sh- super duper card of super Honor. Super duper card, yeah, right. Yeah. This is regular Japan. super. Yeah. So you're but telling it's always me- a Mania staple for Ring of Honor to have Super Card. And you're saying, I keep, everybody's asking me what building it's in, and I know that you told me, because it's the original Ring of Honor building, right? Tonight? Yeah. No, it's the Leah Koros Center where Temple is, where they do like their graduations oh, and their basketball. I was confused. The original venue for Ring of Honor in Philly. Oh, that's the Murphy Rec Center where CZW is running tomorrow. Oh, see, I thought that that's where we were going this evening. We could do that, but I think we have better content just messing people at the block party and that tomorrow. So yeah, I mean, who wants to go to CZW? And then the other venue they also used to use was the Armory up in the up in the Northeast. I feel like that's what I was thinking. Like when everybody was asking me, "Oh, well, that was like the hardcore uh, ROH, like CCW feud was Aries beating Joe, Adam Cole, all that stuff was there." Wow. And then they eventually started running like HD TV and all the stuff with Flair and all them at the arena, like twenty three hundred. Adam Cole, rest in peace. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it'll be fun. I don't think I the last Ring of Honor show I went to was like. The New Japan Ring of Honor crossover at like Terminal Five ten years ago. I just was making sure you weren't hitting the modem. No, I, I'm hitting the modem and I'm spilling the water on the modem. Yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, and and you know it's like so at that thing Terminal Five is one of the world worst famous venues. worst yeah, venues it's so of bad. all time. I left at ROH show there. Formerly so Club bad. Exit, where all my uh, high school friends who love to take ecstasy would go. So yeah. that tells you all that you need to know about Terminal Five. It's almost like a just a music science game. fiction tribunal. Yeah, you know it's what like I mean? this weird. <laughs> it's it's, it's like weird. A, it's like this like big chamber like with these. Right, it's like if you were like in a science fiction movie, you would stand in the ring, yeah, and like the five layers of yeah, it's like Planet of the Apes or something, like yeah, some scene out of there, like eighties like science fiction. So, and and that time, I think I saw Okada, Tanahashi, all these guys who were doing the crossover, and but I didn't know who I who they were. I was like, oh, the Japanese guys are here, you know? Yeah, not even the people working there, like. uh, off and all them are right. He was like, All right, whatever, just bring over whatever. I'm writing a funny story where, like, my buddies, like, for one of the first time New Japan came over, they were doing like a meet and greet, and like, they were like, Okay, line's too long, we're just cutting it off. And he's like, Oh, fuck that. I'm gonna meet him, I'm gonna go on Twitter and I'm gonna bitch. And the guy's like, Oh, okay, hold on, who do you want to meet? I want to meet Tanahashi, uh, Takahashi, uh, uh, Ido, uh, and all these guys. And he's like, I have no idea who those guys are. <laughs> all right, it was uh, this guy, Nakamura. Yo, you know what? And for and this might have been in 2012. So I mean, I I'm not really that knowledgeable with that shit. Like I was a friend of a friend going. But yo, for all I know, Nakamura himself might have wrestled on that. Yeah, no, show. there was a huge Philly show. Remember the one when they did the show at the arena, and it was Nakamura. Now, this is when like it was like peak Nakamura, like right before he's about to sign with the E. And it was like I don't know, like 2,000 people at the arena, and um. 
for anyone who doesn't know, the arena is the ECW arena. 2300. 2300 arena. Um, it was back to back nights. I don't know what it was called, but it was like some New Japan ROH Super Show. Osprey might have been on it. The Bullet Club was definitely on it. Um, forgot exactly what the match was, but it was like one of the most lit crowds I've ever seen. And like, you know, Nakamura was on it. But I mean, like, you put that many marks in there, you know, it's going to be loud. Yeah, Especially because this was prime New Japan. Are you expecting that for this uh, Philadelphia Ring of Honor, Super Card of Honor show? You think it's going to be? Ah, uh, the arena's a little too popping? big, and I, I mean, like, I don't know. The bodies might get in there because the, ch- the 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 seats are pretty cheap. I mean, how are they going to get anybody invested if they're not having Okada put his money where his mouth is and defend that Continental Breakfast Championship? Yeah, I don't even exactly know what the card is. I know, like, you know, it's going to have like Athena. It's, it's definitely going to be super, super. Probably. It's going to be super duper for sure. You um, see uh, Undisputed Kingdom. <laughs> oh, like, they're on the show, right? Yeah. Well, they're the Ring of Honor champions. Yeah, yeah, they'll be. Yeah. Unless, no, wait. Did they lose the belt in the interim last week? Maybe I don't, I don't know. know. I. It's like the Ring of Honor championships are just like a the silver belts that are on AEW. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're like the, they're like the belts of the show I don't watch that are featured on AEW. Yeah, the non gold belts. <laughs> yes. Like, like Ring of Honor, but not to be confused with. The Continental Belt, right, which was or any three. other and New the, Japan belts, right, that may just happen to come in one day, and oh, then bless. you have all the AEW belts. I <laughs> can't wait. Oh yeah, then right, all right. which cannot be on the same show as CMML guys, no, right, right. <laughs> because they all pull guns or stab each other. I'm really or, excited or to slap with each other's sisters, to, wives, something. Well, I'm definitely the most excited for cheesesteaks. I've been on a cheesesteak um, tour. And I'm uh, where'd you oh, go? I'm I'm o for I'm o for mania for with cheese steaks. I have like fucking banana muffins from the Section Eight Housing Hotel in my pocket. All right, well we're definitely gonna get Della Sandro's got, after this. Got, so. um, it's only I'm, gonna I'm, cost I'm, you like twenty nine ninety eight or I'm, something. I'm you know? ready to go, uh, <laughs> and I am so much more interested in that than Ring of Honor. But I can't wait to go and get confused about what wrestlers are doing what on what show and what their titles are and. I think it's going to be a big powwow because of my other buddy, uh, Ruben. Um, he was at the show last night, and he has he usually does catering for Ring of Honor and AEW, but he has he's just hanging out this weekend, and he got comps too. So it's going to be a bunch of them in the comp section with us. So, so it's it's basically a, a friends and family invasion. Kind of, yeah. And the yeah. way like hard cam- um, comps work, you they usually tell you where to go, but I feel like we're going to be able to all set together. So we should be fine. Well, and that's what Mania Weekend is really all about. It's like plans take shape and then they change two minutes later. And the place that you think. That's how it is now because that's how society is now. Back (laughs) 10 years ago, like plans were always plans. You had the tickets and that's how it was. And now it's like now no one, you know. Well, like even within my first 10 minutes of being in Philadelphia, our plans changed like two or three times. I was going to go somewhere and do something. And then one of my friends was like, hey, I got a GCW bracelet for you. And I'm like, well, you don't really know my backstory, do you? And then I went to the other thing. It's like, so plans evolve, plans dissolve. The thing that they say is right around the corner is actually half a mile away. Yeah. You know, the thing that's half a mile away, actually just right around the corner. Yeah, yeah. I do have an issue with Philadelphia pizza, though. Why did you eat pizza? Right around the corner from the uh, I don't venue. think you should go off anything in your area. I don't know. I don't, you still don't even know where you were. Well, like, I'm you... not talking about the Section 8 housing. I'm talking about around the corner from the Underground Arts. And from the outside, it looked like a rustic, beautiful, artisanal pizza place. Let me tell you, man. Mm, yeah. I don't know. That area, I mean, it's kind of near... Eh, I mean, the closest like good food in that area is probably Silk City, and that's still a walk. Is, is Philadelphia have good pizza? Is that like a... Yeah, no, they do. Yeah, I'm sure there's good f- pizza somewhere out here. Yeah, um, the place I used to live near. But it's not like New York where you could just like throw a dart and Franco find some Luigi's good slices, is like one right? of the best. No, not not as much, but it's still it's like a seven. Where so New York, it's like seven eight, sometimes right. a nine. Where so New York is like seven eight nine, sometimes a ten. Right, right. What what, what about um the guy who I'm um, our videographer who you met last night, Vinny? He said he was like, well, first of all, he door dashed. A, a cheesesteak <laughs> to uh, the venue. And he said, and, and, and he didn't even look at it. He was like, okay, Philadelphia cheesesteak, order. And he said that the whiz mixed with the mayonnaise in, to make a conglomeration of, of yeah, some, pa- you put uh, uh, paint. Salt, salt, pepper, ketchup, mayo. That's, oh, that's the God. Philadelphia standard So basically, kit. you guys <laughs> were so upset with out-of-towners coming in and just getting... 
onions and whiz and steak, you were like, you know what? Let's hurt ourselves. Let's make out. Let, we're we're going to eat the worst sandwich. We're going to get ketchup and mayonnaise on it. Yeah. So the out-of-towners, we can feel cooler than the out-of-towners. We're gonna Mushrooms get- is one, too. Mushroom oh steak. And then you have pizza steak, which is, you know, like a chicken parm kind of like marinara and mozz. Wasn't well, that steak. the Italian? They just It's just everything that it would be except just like red sauce on it. Yeah, but then mozz usually. Oh, okay. So it's like and, pizza. And, and mushrooms. Or no, you, it's probably not mozz. It's probably provolone. I don't know how many cheesesteak plates really have, like, if it's, like, a Pat and Gino's, I don't know if even mozzarella is even available. Probably just pro- canned marinara on top of a steak. Hey, welcome so- to Here Comes the Lame Wrestling Podcast. Yes, I did travel all the way to Philadelphia WrestleMania weekend to do what we do every week. We just talk about everything that's happening in the world except the wrestling podcast. Professional wrestling. Welcome to the wrestling podcast, y'all. So what um what do you want to talk about headline wise? There's a lot of there's a Vince thing. There's what Bischoff and Tony Khan were oh, doing. Oh, it was a crazy week because everybody unleashed their content this week. Yeah, you know you got the regular wrestlers. Wasn't going enough to time the... to do everything. We're gonna have no. to put stuff after the yeah, next. Yeah, yeah, so. because I tried to, and even on the train on the way here, you know, I wanted to be a responsible co-host and watch the biography. Watch the watch the uh, Bray Wyatt thing, but it's just too much because no, I, I wasn't because I was able locked to either. In. Yo, that CM Punk Ariel Hawani thing was yeah. like ninety minutes. The Cody thing was great. Ariel Hawani probably the best interviewer. I guess we could right. just talk about that. That's probably the coolest thing. Well, that came stop out of last the week. presses, Joe. I need to hear. You were about like, do you watch it? And I was like, I just I just did like forty five minutes on the treadmill, like like on purpose, just well, so I, it was so captivating. I could just watch it. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was very very, and the way that that guy asked questions. But before he's we, so good, by the way. I want like how he asks questions. It's like he'll ask a question and immediately have like the follow up. Like, the like dope were you follow- there when uh, blah blah blah? How did that feel? How did that feel? Yeah. What oh, happened exactly? God. Like it's just like oh, uh, I'd no. be like uh uh. <laughs> like yeah. you know going back you know and uh yeah i agree but before that dude i don't even care about that fucking bullshit i want to hear about your superstore fucking oh yeah your the your raid store antic the raid you, you raid yes. you raided the ra- superstore <laughs> so we got to the store which is at the convention center or we as in me and then um uh, it opened up at 11 a.m. and there was already a line of like maybe like 2000 people down the block and I just skipped all of them. I just walked right in. No one said anything. Skipped them. Went through security. Went up the escalator. There's a whole giant queue of people up there. Just skipped that line and just stood at the head of the line and waited. And then we got in there. And, yeah, everybody, it was kind of like uh, like a giant free-for-all. It's kind of, it ended up turning into like a Walmart where people are just putting stuff like everywhere. Like, oh, I don't want this hoodie. I don't want this hat. I don't want this cup. It's just kind of like everywhere. Um, and it was pretty difficult to get around, but I ended up meeting um, this one gentleman and his uh, daughter helped me out. They bought some things for me because some stuff was one piece per. So they helped me out with that. And uh, yeah, I filmed a pretty sweet 10 minute vlog for the channel, which should go up at some point this weekend. And it was just you making fun of other shoppers. That's all it was. Yeah, it'd be like a Mark doing something. Like he, I'm like, oh, they got hats here, and then the guy drops all the hats, and then it's just like I, I, the camera goes up, and then like looks down, and like I go up, and I'm like, okay, and I go back to the commentary. You know, it was pretty silly. I, uh, I can't wait. But to just talking watch about it. what was available, and like talking about the pricing, and just showing the sheer length of the crowd to check out, like was at least like 700 long. So how many? Like how it many, was like, like it go through this, and then it went out. And then it would go past the entrance again, and that was just the checkout. What, do they have, like, one cashier working? Six, eight, maybe tops to check out 500-plus that are all trying to go at once. I'm trying to think of the wrestler who would be buried enough to have to work. They had Liv Morgan working the register. (laughs) She she has the most urban outfitters. uh... There was something. They were slowing (laughs) themselves down with something. Like, they kept mentioning a self-checkout, and all I saw was some guy, like, taking hangers off thing and holding up the line like it's just fanatics just is a mess you know they don't care about making money if they're letting wrestling fans at mania weekend do self-checkout yeah but i didn't see anything like that they were like oh there's self-checkout self-checkout and there, there wasn't anything like that so i don't know what was going on and they're just like really low on stock like they they, they were not ready for wrestling fans like people really undermine the the um, amount that people save up and the amount of energy and just like how crazy they go for this weekend, you yeah. know, like I'm saving up all year to drop all my all my earnings and everything, and you know, I was actually I'm gonna wreck that. the place while I do it, you know, I want all this stuff and I'm gonna knock people over and <laughs> you know, 
but everybody was cool. Everyone's been cool. I met a, f- a few bunch of people in there. Like, oh, where'd you where'd you see that? Oh, where'd you see that? How much is that? Are they have any of this? Like, just random fans and stuff. Like I said, I met that that dad, uh, and he helped me out. Like, everyone's been nice. And then you're bumping into people, and everyone's saying sorry and shit. So it was no real issues. Because usually, you know, I have issues at shows. So. Joe was out there. Like, like somebody would pick up a twenty five dollar hat and be on their way to the checkout. They'd be online. And you'd be like, yo, I'll give you $24 for that hat. Yeah. <laughs> right? You're trying to, like, undercut. Yeah, yeah. We'll like, 24 like... for the hat. Yeah. But they were marking up like a motherfucker. Like, belts are all, like, 100 plus. The hats were normally 25 you or have 30. these dope, like, programs. How much were the programs each? Mm, like, 25 or 30. I feel like that's a good... I feel like that program is very well made. I feel like I, if you had said $40, I would have believed you. You know? What about the weight belt? And that's a signed. Oh, the Cody one was only limited to 40, so that was like 500 plus. But we were talking about um, the turnbuckles, and you did flip, because we were asking, well, on the, oh, that wasn't even, I see, I don't even know what's a show and what's not. We were on the phone while I was on the train here, and you were bouncing ideas off of Brian, like, Brian, how much would you pay for this? Yeah. So, like in the mind of a Mark, yeah. Right, it's in like, the mind <laughs> of, a, of a collector. Who would you pay? Yeah, so say? like, hey, how much would you? So you, we were talking about the sign turnbuckle, which was dual signed by Roman and Cody on like a old uh, kind of WWF uh, size turnbuckle because the newer one, the nice kind of pleather. Yeah, because if it's a if it's a WrestleMania turnbuckle, there's only twelve of them. <laughs> yeah, there's only twelve yeah, turnbuckles. Can't be, yeah. can't so be forty turnbuckles. Like, wait a minute, there's only there's only four. Yeah, oh, wait, only, no, there's only 12. 12 I'm like, times You know they make 24. more than the ones that are in the friggin' ring, right? So it's not like, a ring used. It's just a ring turnbuckle. Yeah, but it's this not was like a, game worn. It's just game. But it game. was the nice padded ones that they used to use back in the day. So so, so we were talking, what were we talking, what was the number, like 250? Yeah, he said 250. I was like, no, that, that was 500 plus tax. That 500 plus tax was the retail price. Yeah, MSRP, and there was probably other ones that were cheaper, like um, the Rhea Becky one and the EO So you were trying one. So you are trying to get like five... Your five bills plus another two fifty out of it. Yeah. How much did you sell the turnbuckle for? Uh, like seven. All right. So you, you hit it. Good. You did it. You know, if you think about the time it took you to navigate through all the the marks at the superstore, you're still making like fifty dollars an hour for your time. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, here we go. Done pretty well. Here we go. Adrenaline <laughs> in my soul at the superstar flagship Joe. Uh, Superstore. Hey, Vince Love Letter. Did you read this love letter? I just saw what Alvarez said, and it was enough. I didn't even see that far. I guess the 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 latest. And, you know, who wants to talk about the pooing? Really? It's not. There was nothing about that. It was just what he was quoting well, in the love letter. but it's still connected. It's still in the poo yeah. web. Yeah. Well, um, you always seem to always want to bring that up. Well, so I, nev- I don't think I've ever brought it up in the two of months of us funny, discussing this That's my favorite part of it, Joe. Yeah. But apparently he gave, uh, sent her a love letter at one point that was quoting some movie from the 1930s. Wait, I thought that she sent him a love letter. Oh, is letter. that what it was? I feel like his side. Well, now, you know what? We should just move on because neither of us know. I just thought Do it was. Do you guys even- know? Oh, okay. <laughs> A totally different story than I thought it was. Sheets and sheets. He just like he was rewriting Raw. He had yeah, her yeah. rewriting the. Apparently, there was like some some uh, quotes from a movie, like a really old time movie, and then other ones from a Megan Fox, Machine Gun Kelly interview from some magazine. <laughs> Vince is Vince has always loved. And those Alvarez two. was like, "What?" <laughs> he like stopped and was like, "What?" Okay. Um. So yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty damn random. Like. I love so it. that's pretty much the update on that. I feel like he's going to get lowered down from the ceiling at WrestleMania, and he's going to be the one to stop The Rock. Everyone's saying John Cena. Well, he's going to botch The Rock bottom, probably, so first cold. off. It's like, nah, Vince is going to get his ass out there and fucking be like, I have to stop the bloodline. <laughs> <laughs> no, no way. He can't be allowed in the building. Oh, you're the chosen one? Who chose you? Say his name. What what a beacon of such paragon virtue. Oh or whatever. my God, dude. <laughs> Send you here. And, and and then they zoomed in on Drew, and he's like, hey. <laughs> he's like, okay. <laughs> um, CM Punk is my favorite. 
You want to? Do you want to talk about the CM Punk interview? Yeah, now? I think we I might do. as well. I think I do. Um, so like I we love said, it. We both watched the Ariel um interview, and uh, I guess the biggest thing that came out of it was she, uh, Tony Khan's a clown. Yeah, Tony Khan's a clown. This ain't a company. It's not profitable. And he's like, what? What is um? What kind of company? Like, what are they trying to do or whatever? And he's like, don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, yeah, put on good, put on like, good, put matches. On good matches, and goes, it's not to make money because if it's the Philip Arenas and do tickets, we're in a totally different business. He, he, yeah, he goes uh, if you're waiting on somebody to give you a five star, yeah, and to a half a to, to a it. quarter of a building, then we're not in the same business. And yeah, he flamed them, and and you know it was just very it, like so, oh my god, so much came out of it. He didn't have a non compete, so he could have choked out Jack Perry, and gone and worked for them on Monday. And Tony and uh, Nick Khan said to him, I wish I knew that. He's like, yeah, I, you know, I, I don't know. Yeah. You know, and then he and uh, another favorite highlight for me is when which I was guess, when what was the timetable with that? It was like, I don't even remember when Wembley is May, I guess. Or no, no like August was the Wembley with Survivor Series. So, so it was like three months, four months. So he could have been there way sooner. He could have been there the next day. There was no non-compete. Yeah. And the crazy thing is that I guess there was an NDA about brawl out. But there was no NDA about Jungle Boy. See, that's the thing. It's a magic of show business, Joe, too. Because you know that... And you, know, you see how Ariel Hawani conducts his shit? Like, the guy, obviously, is a detail-oriented... He's a very intelligent guy. He's got a good team around him. Yeah. So, I feel like it seemed natural. Like, the whole thing seemed like a natural conversation. Yeah, but it wasn't. But they definitely, he definitely went in there knowing that, like, okay, we can talk Jack. We can't talk Brawl for all. Okay. You know what yeah. I mean? And which is why it was like, so when Ariel Hawani's like, hey, um, and it was so master. Ariel Hawani was the MVP of it. No, he, he's great. I'm a huge fan. I came out away from being even a bigger fan of his. But like the way he starts with the WWE and how that came together. And he kind of softens him up. And then he gets into the, like he doesn't start with like, well, yeah, oh, they everyone went, wants they to know. went like current and then went back. Yeah, which was like dope. Like so and even that was so great because it was like, hey, you're here to promote WWE. Let's talk about it like a regular talk show, but now like at the end let's get into yeah. like the shit. Uh which was dope. But then he completely flushed all his credibility by having the next interview have a run in during it. And there's a Rhea Ripley Becky Lynch yeah, what run in. Was, yeah, that was <laughs> yeah, it was like the most like lame work thing. Look, hold me back. Hold me back. Oh, like, what are you doing here? Becky Lynch, how'd they even let you into the studio? Yeah. You know, like where's your where's your pass? She's she's you know? in the building. She's in the building. She just uh, she's, in, she's the in the building. building, yeah. And then but but Ariel saved it because after everything to end the show he goes like after the Rhea and Becky yeah, thing, he like goes, I've epilogue. never I've been doing this <laughs> podcast for fifteen years. And never once have I feared for my life and the life of the crew. And these people, and he quoted the Tony thing Tony. word for word uh, regarding like the work shoot he did with, oh my God. Yeah, he hates Tony. Yo, and you know what? And probably I because of their interview where he was like, I can't talk about that. I can't talk about that. Like, you know. But we have a great Yeah, we have a great yeah, dynamite. Yeah, tune in, weekend. tune yeah. in. Great. Well, and, and, Again, I can't talk about that. Well, and, and you know, that <laughs> seems to be the theme. And you know, Cody came on the next day and he was we'll get to that he was so classy he goes and yo oh what a what a brilliant one-two punch he comes on and he goes i disagree i respectfully disagree with cm punk i'm proud of aw and this and he just white meat baby faces yeah. it and it, but it's good because it gives them a balance you know it's not just all these wwe guys coming on talking about yeah you know but um he, it's a, i think it's good for everybody that they acknowledge that like when they and are like, no, oh, AEW doesn't exist, you know, because I think they um, acknowledge Punk as uh, they acknowledge his title reigns in AEW in WWE when he did the um, when they did when the Rock slapped Cody at that kickoff, the Super Bowl kickoff show, oh, like how they introduced him. In the so kickoff. they introduced, yeah. So at that show, and they were like five time. Cole was like five time World Heavyweight, and, he, and Punk was like. Oh, so it was like the three from WWE, or like the and the two the world, from the two the, the two E's, and then the two AEWs. Yeah, that is kind of so. Dope. He was like, "Oh, five time, good." But I kind of believe that. I mean, listen, these guys are all like masterful workers, so like, who knows how sincere they are? But like, it does feel like he is refreshed by the new WWE environment. It seems that way, or maybe he just got older into a place where his life where he's like. 
I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue about my booking. I'm just like, Jesus yeah. He's like, really. a, well, he did say that. Like, he was like, oh, I'm just like over it. You know, like I don't, I don't, you know, I want to chill. He my just dog. wants to do good work and chill make money. Chill my dog, yeah. yeah, and make money. And then they talked about it like that. A lot of that stuff where it's like, you know, I don't need to be friends, but that's different there, or, or you know. Right, but I could make. I'll make some. Well, he softened up. You know, because the the the, the well, blanket guys would still like smack each other around back in the day, and then they would still go out and make you know money, just like you know Hogan and Warrior and like. All these guys that hated hated each other. Yo, um, listen, I when to when Tony Khan and AEW succeed, I root against them. But when they're getting beat up, I feel bad for them and root for them. <laughs> so like they got they got fucking destroyed this week. Because then there was the Eric Bischoff before even Ariel Hawani, there was the Eric Bischoff Tony Khan Twitter battle that that involved like Eric Bischoff being like, it was almost like Boulevard Blues versus the world. It was like, we're done. We're no longer doing any episodes. And then some other was like, good. It's like, well, you know what? New show. Yeah. You know new show. Saying? Actually, <laughs> new show. Yeah. And Eric Bischoff had what this whole show. What was it called? Um, wor- not Worse for Business. What's Bischoff's new show? It's not. Best for Business was the old show. But he basically took a quote from the yeah. tweet of Tony Khan. It's called like, like common uh, sense or something. Yeah, yeah, it was like yeah, it's something like that. So they're gonna do like a short show where it's like Bischoff is like, well, you know what's that was really stupid. Like it's gonna be like a more negative show. Well, and he went he went, he got a YouTube specialist on to die. Well, I think they. Oh no, this might have been April Fools that the, the E uh, hired him back for creative. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> was that an April Fools joke? Oh, did anyone so else many, see that? You know, I did. You hear that Justin Jefferson was traded to the Bengals for T Higgins <laughs> and a second one, round no. pick? You know, no, yeah. I didn't see that one. All day, I was like, "What? Oh right, oh right, yeah." I'm the only person who doesn't. I saw it was a Cena action figure that was like, "Oh, you can't see me." Right, it's just an empty box. Yeah, I was like, eh, "I just scrolled through and didn't realize." And I'm like, "Yeah, they would do something like that." I, and then I, I'm like, "Oh," and then someone else sent it to me, and I went, "Oh, it's an April Fool's." If you, it's also my birthday, so I don't really like pay attention to any of that stuff. It's like April Fools and people trying to screw at you on your birthday. Was it hard having a growing up having a birthday that was on April Fools? Not really. It's always like, oh you're a fool. Hello. Like, you know, that's it. Like, <laughs> Somebody, okay. like you never had like a cake that was like made of like pine tar? No. No. no? Anything like that? No, that's cruel. So nobody would actually like fool you. Yeah, it, it, there was no trauma or anything. <laughs> you know. Well that's the thing about trauma is that you don't even realize that it's it's living in you. Yeah. Well, I grew up in New York, and you know, I know and father you came, did plenty of that. Already, came so. here, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. came here, and became a Phillies fan. Uh, we didn't watch the Bray Wyatt doc, so screw. We'll him. cover the Bray Wyatt doc and the Roman bio next week because we you know, just ran out of time. Did you? Yeah, you didn't watch Roman either. Yeah, I watched fucking three hours of Ariel Hawani interviewing two guys this week, and then I watched. And uh, honestly, like the the Harley race dark side was probably. I don't want to say it's worse than the Brutus Beefcake one. <laughs> Brutus no, is definitely, definitely the worse. worst it's one. Worse, yeah. Brutus one was definitely the worst. This one was second, but I was I also like hearing about all the old school guys because I don't From know the old that much. Footage too. Yeah, I like hearing about that stuff. So that was fine. It was a good, nice history lesson. Um, but there was nothing. It was like, you know, there was nothing that oh, dark like about the, it. Um, like, I mean, he he did the table spot with Hogan and then it, you know, messed up his intestine and he was still fine after that. And and then he broke up with his wife and yeah, normal. And then, yeah, and that was it. But, you know, the uh, well, the highlights for me were you love seeing I love seeing Corny. Love seeing oh, yeah. Corny that's another reason we watch it. And shit, and you know, pop, so. pop on the screen and like say some shit, you know, like he, he uh, to me just hits me with uh, some like. Good dialogue, you know, but he's basically Harley Race is like the uh, generic default, like oldest wrestler. He's like he's like the 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 first wrestler. Yeah, like you know, the most like, like hardcore old school guy. Right. Like, Who's like, gonna beat up Harley this. Race? He's Harley <laughs> Race. He was doing like strongman yeah, competitions yeah, yeah, on like yeah. the boardwalk, yeah. and he would like try to go to the carnival. Yeah, so he like he started in the carnival. Well, that's was... how the business started, right? right. I mean, like Carney. That's, so that's how they what get I'm saying. He's just like term. pure in my veins. Yeah, the most toxic. Uh, less evolved, like the first evolution of a pro wrestler. I'm going to go to the carnival, then I'm going to go uh, get my legs broken by my wrestling coach, oh, and, then, yeah. and then I'm going to break everybody else's legs yeah. who comes in, you yeah, know, I'll like... Break your arm, break your legs, yeah. yeah. But, Just uh, a business brother. Some of the, Yeah, yeah, welcome to the business yeah. brother. Paying your dues. So it's like, oh, okay, so this guy's life, like, was hard. Yeah. You know, like, but, but then some of those old, some of that old footage, 
Like okay, it went super what... black and white. Like yeah. it was like the probably the oldest footage I've seen of, of yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like uh Charlie Chaplin. Yeah, his eight by tens he had to actually stand there for twenty minutes while the light was exposed yeah. properly. <laughs> like like the Titanic <laughs> when they blow the bulb. Yeah. Yeah, but uh but but you know it's funny because what was that like I mean, what what time period was that versus like you look at like Stone Cold? Like when Stone Cold was like hoop earrings like feeling it. And man, it's like Stunning Steve. Well, yeah, or like anything, any Steve, like the ECW Steve, or something. He still had the hoop even when he was Stone Cold at the beginning, right? Well, I guess what I'm referencing is like when somebody's just like dialed in, and you can like see it in their eyes. You know what I mean? They're living it. Yeah. And it's like okay, so this shit from Harley Race is like this long ago, and then like the stuff that I came up with, but the, you could just see it in their eyes, you know. And like uh, I think that was interesting because like no matter the footage or the quality of the footage, it's like. There is a certain value to somebody who's just fucking locked in, and it's like a timeless value to it, because like whatever was in this in Harley Race's eyes in those clips was in like Stone Cold's eyes fifty years later, whatever sixty years later. It's like which is when you're locked in, and you're just like on some fucking different vibration, you know. Yeah. So I really liked seeing that, and you know, yeah, his life sucked. I mean, those are some of the best ones that are super locked in. So you said Austin, you know, and Harley. Yeah, you just see your body, you're like you're being possessed. You know, you're just possessed by the... My uh, veins, brother. Um, did you see that... A, did anyone, AW release anyone else that we missed? I don't know who they released, but I know that they released people. Do you have the list? Um, I know Anthony Henry was one of them. Remember, oh, chatted shit. up Anthony Henry? Yeah. Uh, Dasha, the pretty Latin girl announcer. Right. Um, And uh, what's the other guy? Parker Bardot, right? <laughs> Uh, or was that was that he just right? Brock Lesnar, light, yeah, big dude, wasn't he? Someone's bodyguard, right? He off was the jump? Swerve. He was in Swerve. That's thing. right, him with like the baseball player with the face well, tattoo. My laptop's dead. Sorry. Um, I we think uh, I think somebody from the Stu Grayson. Yeah, yeah, and they had just recently resigned him too. So what's going on? Do you think they're cleaning house Yo. and like because they're really going because they just signed the four big ones? In, it seems like too obvious of a answer to say that on Monday, CM Punk said in front of the world that Tony Khan is a clown and doesn't know how to do business. And then like 12 hours later, it's like, all right, well, let's cut these 10. I'm not a, like, and it's like, you would think I'm doing business here. Look yeah. At this. I'm you doing you would think that like, okay, like, no, there's no way that this motherfucker, Tony Khan watched this and then got like, had like a reaction to it. It was like, um, oh yeah, I'm going to cut 10 people. But I feel like that's exactly what happened. Yeah. In <laughs> oh, well, I'm, get I'm right, getting yeah, to that. Yeah. Oh my God. I guess we might as well just go right into that then. Yeah. Because. Um, so they got, they got destroyed all week. Yeah. By Eric. Like, like Eric Bischoff, flawless victory against Tony Khan in the Twitter battle. Uh, CM Punk finally breaking his silence and doing it in like a classy, calm way with a friend, Ariel Hawani. So like they're, they're then they did the cuts. So what would WWE do in that situation, right? Like they would just come out, run their show. Like what would you do as a person? Like if somebody online was like talking shit about you, just come out the next day, run your show. Not AEW, yo. AEW, Tony Khan was. I just imagine him, sheets and sheets of data flying, yeah. just find, trying to it. find going some, through it. What can I do? Probably went to probably knocked on Sasha's. Locker room first. Yeah. He's like, oh, oh my God. Moan? Yeah, Moan. Moan. I, I don't know if you've seen what's going on, but I need you. She's like, no. She slammed the door in his face. I'm good. Sorry, I'm just trying She's to like, look no. up the cage match. She's like, no, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. He's like, I need somebody to go out there and say, AW is great. So, it's like, so he knocks on Monet's door. She's like, no, nah, nah, I'm busy. Like, yeah. And he, and he goes and knocks on like Britt Baker. Britt Baker doesn't even answer the door. Yeah, she hasn't you know? shown up to TV in months. Right. He goes and finds Adam Adam Cole. Adam Cole's like got one foot in the hot tub playing PlayStation. Yeah, playing Halo. <laughs> He's like All somebody, right. anybody. And then Edge, 50-year-old, like 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 America's Choice Fonzie, flips his fucking, he puts on his denim jacket. He's like, I got you, Tony. You know why? Because Edge is a professional. Edge yeah. is like, yo, like you're paying me I this. enjoyed the promo. Uh, what a yo! I mean, I didn't hate. He's a he's okay. So all of wrestling's best actors are bad actors. 
But as far as all of wrestling's best actors who are bad actors, Edge is one of the better. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he's yeah, yeah he's you know, he he was in what um Percy he was on a sci-fi Percy Jackson. <laughs> he was just in Percy Jackson. Yeah, Vikings. Yeah, right, yeah. So that was a series. Yeah. yeah so he he's yeah he's I been on a few sci-fi yeah. shows. Archer, Green Archer, Ar- 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 Arkham. No, um, <laughs> Green uh, Green Arrow. Green Arc. Cody, Cody was in green now. That's how they got him for all in. All those, like, uh, the, the Immortal, Immortal, uh, you know, the thing with the two brothers. They all run the together. WB, yeah. yeah. They all run together. For um, so, yeah, Dynamite was from Worcester, Massachusetts. Worcester. <laughs> Cage Match gave it a 6.67. Uh, so they opened with that Edge promo. Edge is like, hey, there's a lot of negative Ooh, And he announced feedback. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what was that with the hot mic? Yeah. Yo, it's like you Ooh. can't plan this shit. It's like Tony Khan's cringeness level. You can't plan it. No. Like, and you think, like, there's no way that no, this is no real. Way. There's no way. He's they they this is a work. It's like, no, dude, this is brother. No, no, brother. Um and so and yeah, he's he trying announced... to talk about how good and special AW is, and the microphone's not yeah. working. And then it, and then he starts going a little bit more, and then it goes off again. Yeah, and he's like, he's like, uh, yeah, we're getting a lot of negative feedback. And it's like, yo, no way, no way that that just happened. Where do they think and, of yo, this on stuff? Twitter, on Twitter, everyone's like, yo, this is so sad to watch Edge with his like hype beast haircut. You know what I mean? He's like, you know, you know, like trying to like t- trying to tell three thousand people like wrestling's fun. It's like, yeah. yo, Edge, you can like what you like. No, oh, Edge. You know yo. when he starts really like yelling and he's, <sighs> he's like in the lens of the camera. This right? is where I'm gonna finish my career. Yeah. I will bet you ten dollars right now that there is no way that Edge finishes his career at AEW. All right. So also, <laughs> there's no. He shot, also dude. said he didn't come out with the TNT title. He's like, I just came out here and just, he just it. and all of a sudden it manifested on his arm after he announced. Osprey. And I'm like, why did he do that? I, I noticed that. It's so they just cannot get out of their own way. Because it cuts it because Osprey starts coming out. It cuts the to, to Copeland in the in the ring and all of a sudden the belt's on him. And I'm just like, why don't you just come out <laughs> with it and hand it to the announcer? It just appeared. Just manifested no, on because him. Because I think that somebody ran out of like the side was like, here. Because he like must have just forgotten but, it. But 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 then it's like oh shit we should have brought it because Osprey came out and then like pointed at it like hey brother may I challenge you for it uh, once again like, I, I feel like oh we didn't think of that oh shit you, you think <laughs> like, there'd be like a detailed reason for it but I really honestly just believe that Edge like forgot it back like, yeah he's in Gorilla, I think he was just he gets so hyped with his entrance he's running back and forth yeah he's running back and forth <laughs> up and down the stage the pot and he's just like oh. You know, that might have actually been it. Like, he just doesn't want to do the entrance with the belt. Oh, and maybe he, he, he maybe he felt weird about, like, running around with it and putting it around his waist and it falling off. Because you know, how many times have you seen that where it's like, What you know. a fucking idiot. Edges. So. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. I don't think there's been. Think about when did he come back? 2019 Royal Rumble, right? Mm, 18. No, no, and you know, 19 because then he won and then. Oh, no. No. No, no, McIntyre won uh, in 20. In nine, no, oh yeah, 20, no, 20 McIntyre won because it was 20. 17 was here. Well, it was, tw- it was January 2020, McIn- McIntyre won right before pandemic. 2020, yes, that's right. why he, so he so got burned on that. So one Edge won at one. That was your crowning achievement. You won the Royal Rumble. Uh, oh, it was. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. When I, when I won the pool that year, yeah. yeah. And then and Edge got stacked. Yo, and you talk about like the Sting run. You know, Sting just retired. You talk about that run where they like protected him and like yeah, yeah, like cultivate. You know, like and listen. I mean, Edge is like fifteen, ten years, fifteen years younger than Sting. But like the Edge run is the exact opposite. Like he came back. He did win the Royal Rumble. He was real. That was awesome. That was one of the best returns when he came back. But ever since then, slow decline. He was in the Judgment Day. Finn Balor punched like every member of the Judgment Day punched him in the balls to like <laughs> kick him out. Like yeah, he was, was wearing like, like the purple suit. He had the weird haircut. Now he's like biker edge. He's like, yeah, me and Darby were in Gum Alley. This is so cool, man. This is so cool. Like I, I forgot what it's like to live like a poor person. You know, it's like yo Edge. Oh my God! Now he's shilling. He's out there shilling for like. There's been a lot of negative. Fuck. They should have had Osprey come out here. And be like, and say something just like definitive in his like voice, like "Yo, fuck." He didn't have a promo. He, went, he just went right into the match, right with Hobbs. 
Right. The Battle of the Wills! <laughs> is that what they said? They said that on camera? <laughs> that was what Wow, we, this is great stuff. It was billed as the Battle of the Wills because both of the wrestlers' first names are Will. What? Is it Will Hobbs? It's Will Hobbs? It's Will Hobbs. Oh, I, uh, and I think that they're both in the Cyrus faction, too. Yeah, that's it's another thing that they're doing with Osprey is like this weird baby face meets like half ass heel like Don Fallis friggin thing like he is uh, but Os they're not like what are they doing like it's just like there's he's only facing the 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 the, the Fallis guys well and uh, well and I guess they're setting it up where it's like oh like there's probably gonna be some evil plan that Fallis had the whole time yeah you know or whatever but uh but Osprey's not gonna be a heel. No, but that's what I'm saying. The biggest like, baby face in the company. He, he's he well, and that's the thing. Like he's he's got the most like juice to him and like energy to him, in spite of what they're how they're using him. It's like so. It's like everything he's in is so convoluted. It's like he's walking through mud, but like when he comes out, he's dope. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got a presence. Hey, Osprey, Osprey. It's the entrance. It's Right, so he's and like he starts hitting all his moves, and like the people like that internet shit. So, so, but, but that's what I'm saying. He's like getting over in spite of like how they're presenting him. You know what I mean? Like he's. But it's his, not going to last if they continue to right, do this. Because, so and, they need to ride the hot hand with this kid. So, yeah, well, I mean, I think what that's why I should have brought is, the TN, TNT title out, brother, because <laughs> they pointed at it and they're like, "Oh shit, wait, this is uh, this is supposed to be the match at uh, fucking Arthur Ashe." Oh fuck, oh, we should have planted well, the seed here. So, so dumb too because it's like he's got the match with Danielson so why does Edge introducing him and why is he pointing to the thing if he's got the other thing with Danielson and he's still doing this long term stuff? storytelling long -term that's why I said Arthur Ashe telling brother yeah they can't no. book himself in a paper bag so a wise man on Monday said uh, guy's a clown nice guy clown yeah um, so probably, that match with probably Hobbs great Coke, though. got great a good, Coke. a decent rating, and then Brian Danielson defeats Lance Archer, got a good rating too. I fucking hate Lance Archer. But um, Billy Gunn defeats Jay White by DQ, eleven minutes thirty nine seconds, got a one point four one. Oh my god, I don't know. I gotta, this is I the gotta... worst rated match of the year. <laughs> Wait, what was it? One point four one out of ten. I love. I that. I didn't watch it. I was like, this is horrible, and I just skimmed through. I just I went to the end. You watched it? What did you think it was 1.41? <laughs> yeah. And he was all on the outside. And he dominated the match. And it was all on the outside, too, right? And it was, woof. The only thing, like, I didn't watch Woo! this match, but I. Minus five stars. <laughs> I don't know what show it was on, but, like, <laughs> what is the deal? This week they did two home invasion angles in wrestling. They had LA Knight show up to AJ Styles' house, which was, like, weird. And then I still had, haven't even seen that. They Oh, that's another thing that's that's another thing that's thing walking through mud. We'll get to WWE in the huge WrestleMania preview. Oh, yeah. But they are, like, two We have DraftKings picks also for WrestleMania, by the way. Ooh, gambling? They're, yeah. Oh, I love me. But, but like, this AJ Styles thing that's, like, they had the home invasion with LA Knight and AJ. Then they had to fight at the, at the thing today. They're trying so hard to make this, like, a blood feud. But really, it's, like... No. A nothing thing that they're trying to make a thing. It's personal now. He went to his house. Yeah, which is what they did on AW <laughs> well, the, two months ago. And and, and they did yeah. the swerve thing. And I thought that the swerve, the swerve thing the was funny though. Shirt, throwing the shirt at the baby, I thought was the worst, best home invasion angle I've ever seen until I saw the best ones. Orton and the H. sons. The the oh, sons and the, and the gun. Well, the, <laughs> it, was, it was the sons. <laughs> so like so like Billy Gunn has a home. He also has sons who hate him. So the sons... They didn't hate him until like two weeks ago, though. Well, they flip-flop, <laughs> flip. Yeah, flip-flop. They're like the big show. Like They're, like, right, they're, the big... they're <laughs> like they took the big show and put it into two like muscular kids. But uh, but so like so Jay White is going to invade Billy Gunn's home. Did you see this? No. I think it was on like Collision or Ramp. It was like to lead up to this match, right? And so instead of Jay White breaking into Billy Gunn's home, he showed up to Billy Gunn's home and the gun kids just went like this. Click, opened the garage door, let. Oh. <laughs> so it wasn't a home invasion. It was like a home invitation. Yeah. And then, like, so Jay White's walking around with, like. Kill my family. He's yes, like, please. Walking around with a baseball bat. And I'm like, oh, okay. He's going to fuck up his house. But he did not smash one thing in the house with the baseball. Like, what they did is they poured Billy Gunn's protein powder into the garbage. They threw out his protein powder. It's oh. expensive stuff so right now. So you think that they were going to. 
can like smash like oh here are all his pictures of his yeah. accomplishments. Those are like eighty, ninety dollars. So he's walking yeah. around with the bat, but then they're like pouring out his protein powder. It was so funny. They, was not, they, were not, they weren't ready to do this. Like, I'll just go in there. We'll it work it out in so editing. Yeah. Fucking stupid. Yeah. Yeah, don't bring my shit, dude. Yeah. I was like, oh, they're going to smash this TV. Yeah. And, like, and he's just walking around with the bat. But it's like, if you're not going to smash with the bat, don't have the bat. Right? He's got a bat. Yeah. Look so. at this. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, erase the dry erase that the kid drew. Right. They, they yeah. really yeah. his calendar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Change the time of the doctor's appointment. Yeah. <laughs> they tied yeah. the shoelaces together of all his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Um, yeah, it was so bad. So, so I have no doubt that the payoff for that was. Yeah. Dog I, shit. I, uh, Jay White, man, like he was looking good in the uh, the Continental Breakfast uh, tournament. But he, uh, yeah, they stuck him with a bunch of jabronis and now they're. They had a good heel. They yeah. had a really good heel. They could have had him in the mix with. Uh, <laughs> The, the 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 four they just got in at he's least definitely better Osprey on the mic than, P- than Okada like, and them. So when he, look at the history he has with Okada. Like right. why? We, and then now you're gonna have to build him back up. Like he's, a, he's nothing now. Yeah, they should have they just had, have had him. Thing, I think. Yeah. Wait, so who won? Oh, it was they shouldn't have had Eddie win that tournament. They should have had Jay White win the fucking tournament. Well, he That's what I it. think. Yeah, he need he needs something because and also in like, you know. Love to talk about their bodies. Like he looks good. Yeah, exactly. He and he good, can talk. But uh, so it's like Billy Gunn. The only thing that Billy Gunn's got going for him is that he, did, that he looks great for his age. And he did DX like twenty years ago. Well, yeah, yeah. I got two words for you. Yeah, Tony Khan. And or he whatever. does the thanks, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> but like, so it's like okay, so Jay White is like a slim guy who looks good. Good music uh, around, around the guys look. his own size. Yeah. With like the work rate. Oh, when and Billy like, Gunn's the only thing he's got going for him is that he's like six five. Yeah. And he's and he's Two, huge. Right. Yeah. So like so basically Billy Gunn can't move as fast as Jay White, which is like you're saying he's slowing down. And then Jay White looks small compared to Billy Gunn. So it's like the last thing they should have done. Yeah. It's so fucking like, you know, it's just like 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 it basically accentuates both of their negatives rather than like you know, it's like, okay, Jay White looks yeah, small. Instead of them coming out smelling Gunn. like roses, it's all a popcorn right, fart. So Billy Gunn looks. Yeah, it's. it's lo- shit. Oh, I didn't even realize it's he like lost. I remember, like, uh, when uh, they brought Hacksaw Jim Duggan in to face Edge on a random Raw. I think it was like in Trenton or something. I was there live. On and he, this day. He went like 25 minutes with Duggan. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I'm like. But yeah, uh, so, so Billy Gunn looks It's like a too 20 slow. minute. To, like, just. Maybe stat check it, but like, I think it's at least it's a, 20 minutes. It just doesn't make any sense. And the home, not to mention the home invasion was the lamest. But, like, yeah, so Billy, they like just put a button on it. Billy Gunn looks too slow for Jay White. Yeah. Jay White looks, although having a great look, looks too small standing next to Billy Gunn. So it makes no sense. And, yeah, and then he Well, loses. it goes, it's this, they, they don't, yeah, they have no self-awareness. Like, the Riho Willow Nightingale, the Riho Chris Statlander. Oh, my God. And these girls are, like, German suplexing themselves like you know and like Riho weighs like 80 pounds soaking wet and Willow's like like 190 and Statlander's like built she's like you know oh god bro all right anyways uh so the Bucks defeat uh the best friends with Chuck Taylor and Sue Beretta oh did she drive them to the the mother of Trent Beretta uh had a spot in the match where she slapped it was like this weird fluid slap of like someone's arm coming this way, and she just went like this. Then they had to sell the the slap, so it it was really bad. I think she slapped like Matt or Nick, I don't know or exactly, but it was it was really bad. And then the Bucks Bucks won, so they advance, of course, to the finals. And who are they going to be fighting in the finals? I don't do you know? think they've uh, determined that yet. It's on collision. I'll tell you another thing that's so fucking stupid too <laughs> is that. So so at um at the Sting's last match, they're fucking building up Claudio and Moxley to be this like new breed of like Blackpool Combat Club tag team, and it's like yo out with the old FTR in with the new. They have FTR lose at Sting's last match in front of fucking all those legends at the Greensboro Coliseum because like whatever, and then Claudio and Moxley aren't even in the tournament. Yeah, I don't, I don't. Oh that. my. God, dude. I would have been oh. fine. I figured it would have been them and the Bucks in the finals. Who, oh, Claudio and Mox? Mox, yeah, because right, they love Mox. They're not going to do FTR again. Well, no, that's who's in the semis. 
Well, but they're not. Gonna That's do... who they're predicting it's going to be. Just FTR another gonna... Bucks FTR. You know why? Because the Bucks. Because are... then they'll if FTR wins, right? Then it's even. No. Oh, so the Bucks get their win back. Yeah, then it's oh, two two. Oh, the yeah, Bucks will get. I told you the Bucks were gonna get come, and they just lost to Sting and Darby. Right. So they have to get a big win back. Well, yeah, they're definitely gonna sense. win the. But I, so I was thinking like. Mox, like the Bucks are going to win this. I, I was predicting that they were going to beat Sting and Darby, but then as the days went, you know, it was kind of like, eh, maybe they'll well, vacate. And you know, you know, it's so funny because at the time I was saying if the Bucks beat Sting and Ar- Darby, Arby, it's Arby's, the, it's yeah. so uh, lame. Duh. It's I was <laughs> like, I was like, that's the lamest thing that could happen. It's so obvious if the Bucks just beat them, and then they somehow found a way to surprise me with a lamer thing. Where it's like they didn't win, but now they're gonna win a tournament. <laughs> we get a tournament out of this, though. We can get a tourney. Which, which the marquee tag match? Because remember, Sting and Darby. That was a that was a tornado. So the only classic tag match on that show was FTR and Claudio and, and yeah, yeah. Moxley. And Moxley and Claudio won. Not even in the tournament. Yeah. FTR in the tournament. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Get the fuck. I think it's because the Bucks are obviously gonna win, and I think Moxley was like, "No, it just don't work for me." Yeah. He's like, I'm the. What am I well, lose to well it probably was, hey, we're going to have you guys in the final with the Bucks going over, and that doesn't work for me, brother. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Josh, what is Josh Barnett going to say if the Young Bucks beat me? Yeah. You know what I mean? Josh, Bar- like, Josh Barnett. What is Sensei like, Barnett? Like, he has gonna- some value in this. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, oh, I um, know, And then the, the uh, main was Thunder Rosa defeating Maria May. Oh, my God. Dressed Ma- as Tony Storm. Maria Coming out to Tony. Ma- She's Ma- awesome, but why is she acting like Tony Storm every week? Like shouldn't shouldn't they just went full Mickey James with this and had her come out like from Tony Storm in the jump? You know? Like as the stalker. It's like Sandow. But I thought they were gonna turn. <laughs> we thought that Jamie Hader was gonna turn forever too, and they didn't pull Don't the trigger you on that. Don't Damian Sandow. All right, this is nothing like that. Yeah. This is nothing. <laughs> Damian Sandow's much better. But Mar- Mariah May is awesome, and yeah, they're probably gonna do a stalker. She's but, like, but they're botching oh. it. They're not doing it. Like it's like she's dressing. She's like the number one con no, not a more contender. She's her and Thunder are are um t- the top uh, ranked. And I'm like, I have only seen one Mariah match <laughs> in two months. Yeah, and, te- and it's and all technically she's dressed as Tony Storm, so it's yeah. like a half of yeah. Half she of comes out that well, here comes Tony Storm, like the whole thing. Yo, you know what? It's like, hey, listen, you do great work in Japan. You want to come to AEW with this much money? And it's just like, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I'll <laughs> I'll wear the I'll wear the gas mask. Yeah, you know I'll eat the whole I'll eat I'll eat the cat shit. You know what I mean? Because I wanna I wanna I wanna you you know what I mean? Like, and plus, it's not just about what they're doing now. It's about the legacy. So now we could go do a shoot interview about how our yeah. time was how I was buried there. So I mean, I hope that they're as smart as I'm giving them credit for. But I don't know. It's like, yo, if you're an, if you're an independent musician and somebody's like, hey, I know you love playing punk rock, but I want you to come be on tour with Katy Perry playing bass. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. do that. I'll wear the, I'll dress like Ryan Seacrest and play the bass, yeah, yeah. you know, for that much money and yeah. catering. Well, you and don't got to do much. You just sit. Right, yeah. four times, yeah. And you just, it's not like you have to dance around like she does either. You're just a no, background I don't, I, band. I don't got to learn the choreography. Light's not even on me. Yeah. Yo, and, and you know, that's what uh, CM Punk said, too, on the interview. He goes, yo, these guys want to show up with their guaranteed money, yeah. work, wrestle one day a week, shoot, shoot the vignettes. vignettes. Oh, oh, that God. was definitely a shot at House of Black. I th- Oh, no. I mean, he's he cool with he's cool right? with those guys. Was, Is he really cool with Malachi, though? He's cool with Brody he's cool and with Buddy. Brody. Yeah. I don't I don't see him and uh, Malachi getting along. See, to me. Because Malachi like, is like a different form of dickhead, dude. Like yeah, I've I've had like, encounters with this guy and I've seen him and it's just like it's different. No, I think him. he's just foreign. It's just a different. It's just yeah. a cultural thing. I think it's he's married I, to a cosplayer. It's like it's rough. I mean, I think there is a when she's trying to like siphon in that much clout from so many avenues. It's it's it kind of takes. This, I was gonna do damages a, his star. <laughs> I was gonna do a bad take and say that um, I think I can believe in a, a multiverse where uh, Zelina Vega is bitchier than Sasha Banks. I can and, see uh, it. I mean, oh, a multiverse. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you think so? I mean, I could see that. I mean, both Queens babes. Yeah. So shout out bitchy Queens babes. We love them. And they're short. And they're short and their hoops are large. So yeah. we love them. But, um, oh, we didn't, I was about to move on. We didn't even talk about 
the Mercedes segment. Oh, the cringe, cringe. Yeah, I'll leave it for the end. Yeah, which is the end now. But uh, so they had a promo with the camera on the stage facing the ring. So, all right. right. So first of all, the first 45 <laughs> they minutes. They were like downward. <laughs> 40, first 45 minutes of the show, no Renee. Three Renee segments within like 20 minutes. It's flight delayed. Yeah. So, and oh, I'm sorry. There's a lot of stuff I didn't mention on this show. So there was a Jericho promo in the back with Hook. This whole Jericho Hook situation has been awful. Throw up the hook, hook signal. That's how yeah, you saw like, him the, Yeah, so he came up. Yeah, throw up the hook signal. He comes out. And I don't know what he said. And then he he was like, oh, next week I'm going to teach you and, and this and that. And he goes, bet. Jericho said <laughs> yeah, bet. With the chips. Yeah, bet. It's kind of like he, if he Prince Havoc does. was a wrestling character. Yeah, bet. Yeah, yeah. It's not. Oh, he's, not he's the worst. He's the yeah, worst. and then he comes out to the. He wasn't coming out at first. They hit the Lionheart theme and then uh, whatever metal song that is. I don't even know what it is. And then he wasn't coming out at first and they keep cutting to different. It was like the cameraman didn't know what they didn't know what to do with like. Uh, and then he finally comes out. Like, I thought they were going to go to a backstage angle. Where he was getting like, you know, attacked or something. I, I hate Jericho so much that I don't even watch the segments for fun. Like it doesn't even entertain me in a. Yeah, he, in a there's no one in the business anymore. who needs to take a vacation. Is that fucking guy like? Uh, and we're not yeah. talking about. Well, yeah. he just doesn't get it. He's, we're not talking about a cruise vacation or I mean, like he a Fozzie a tour. Ton. He's just not aware. Like what the fuck's going on around him? Like, um. Hey, shout out vodka. <laughs> shout, out, shout out vodka with a splash of water. <laughs> You'll love it. Um, <laughs> and then so like back to the women's segment. So it was um, shot like like from the stage down, right? right? They they. they... <laughs> They created a shot that has never been seen in yeah, why? the hundreds and hundreds. Oh, is that why? So, <laughs> so let's, let's try yeah, this, brother. Swing it around. Yeah, yeah, swing it around. We'll do something creative. Never and it was like, once. so it was Willow and Statlander being interviewed by Renee, and they let Willow do like, I don't know, what felt like 90 minutes oh of a promo. Oh, my God. So that was shot. They're ruining then, my girl. Yeah. They're, they're tainting and my girl. And then Mercedes and came out. And she's going to take that L, too. She's oh, yeah, lose. yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Willow. And I knew Willow from uh, NYWC. So, like, in NYW, uh, so NYWC, when I was ring announcing there, Willow and Statlander were having, like, the matches, like, those, like, Rampage matches, like, the hardcore matches, the tax. They were doing that in NYWC. And I was just like, yo, and I knew, like, I loved them. But I never imagined this for Willow. Or, you know, it's like, oh, yo. And so I'm like, she's standing next to Sasha. So I'm like, yes. And listen, I know we're body positive. A different outfit the other night. She's wearing like a tablecloth. Who? Willow. She looked all weird. What? She yeah, she had like a weird like third grader sundress on. Oh, really? It was, I didn't, it was I didn't not a good look. This. I didn't like that either about it. I didn't like that. Either. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't but I say that out of love. I say that out of love. I think Willow is very beautiful and sexy woman, but she's wearing like a a freaking like third grader thing. Yeah. And then Mercedes Monet's like Mercedes Monet yeah, looks she's... is like the size of a third grader dressed like a stripper. Yeah. Dressed like she's about to Willow, go. Willow, real dance woman, dressed like yeah. a third grader. Yeah. So it, it was all fucked up in the game. I hated it. I hated it because I love Willow. What, with Mercedes coming out? So Mercedes comes out, and what'd she say? Well, she, I think she does that, this, right? <laughs> what, was it, what was it exactly? <laughs> it was like Willow declared or got announced as number one contender or something like that, right? And then Mercedes came out and went, Yes. It's me. It's <laughs> going to be, I'm next. I'm going to be I'm coming next, for that right? team. Like she just so that for the TBS title. So now this is also that weird that she's going for the mid-card belt. Right. And, and she's and supposed to be like the million dollar man, you know. Who's the women's champion? Tony. You're right. <laughs> Hasn't done anything. Mariah May is doing right. Tony Storm, there's which two is Tony, to there's Tony two Storm, Tonys. Yeah. By the way, that's my favorite Sopranos episode. Two Tonys, season five, episode one. Okay. Check it out. Um, what? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, she had just said a few words, and then that was it. And then she started dancing weird down down the ramp. Yeah. Yo, um, I can't believe. I, I know that it's WrestleMania season, but I'm having so much fun talking about all the plot holes and weird. Oh, well, that's fringe. what the show's for. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, and and like, I was like, oh, we're not even going to talk about AEW. But it's like, oh, man, no, once I start to. thinking about it, it's like, It was oh, really bad God. this week. Having a really bad episode and the coming off of everything that was like Dude. dirting on them oh, and it be no. Mania week also. Like, it was. It was. <laughs> yeah. 
This well, but they I, had it like they the cage can never match stop was scoring them. it higher. They can never stop, and now they can never low. go out of business. Yeah. They have to keep going. Um, and and also the we talked about the scoring on the site. It's not um directly influenced by the matches. That match got you voted do overall one overall show. You do and overall match. Yeah. and then match. So it isn't like that got dr- that that Billy Gunn match dragged them. <laughs> People went in and. Dumped on all the segments, like all the promos and everything else. Billy and just Gunn, like two weeks overall. Ago, two weeks ago, Billy Gunn was like, the internet wrestling community matters. I care about what you fans think. You know, I'm, uh, wrestling is fun. Then he gets the cage match story. He's like, fuck this. I, no, he's like, I don't care about what some b- bunch of marks think. Just completely. <laughs> it turns into, yeah, he's like he's like a big, loving wrestling community guy. Like, yeah, I'm one of the, I'm one of the young guys. That's like a cage match 1.4. He's like, well, fuck these marks. I don't care anyway. <laughs> um, so I guess that's it for AEW. Does anyone want to add anything? I just hope that they continue to do Amazing. shows forever. Well, we're for we're gonna see of- a show tonight, technically by them. So. <laughs> right, no sell. No sell but city. No, they-, they can't help it. Mm-hmm. Back, yeah. Say, well- and always complain about the guys up yeah, top. But- yeah, yeah. Which is not. And and they mentioned Cody on the show. Edge said Cody. That's my, they all, all the time. That's not good. <laughs> they said yeah. punk. They say they say, they say punk. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, you're that, the you're the black. That, well, he didn't come out and say it, say it. But well, yeah, of course he's talking about him. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, and you know what? For all the the shit, I mean, you could see. You could they think it, they're gonna get over saying this shit, and it looks it makes them look like shit. But go ahead. It, it, yeah, the the no sell was obviously the key. I mean, that's. Lesson one. That's like rule one. Mm-hmm. It's elementary. Just no sell it. Yeah, you know. <coughs> Yo, and the, yeah, they can't help themselves. To, and the, and poor Edge. Yeah. Poor Edge. The the saddest guy to ever have a five thousand dollar denim jacket. <laughs> On the same show, I I missed it. Oh. So this was an eight hour. This was an eight hour taping. They Oof. did. They did a uh, dynamite rampage collision. Ring of Honor. Oh, that's why they. Yeah, they had a super show. <laughs> the decal. That, oh no! Oh god! No, oh, see, like, like. Talking about it this way makes me want to like watch closer. Like yeah. now, I just skip through. Like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, now, like, now you're like an I'm Instagram. Like, oh, I want to. I want to yeah. watch. Uh, like, I should commit more time. Like, it's like mystery science theater. The good segment was the main though. Um, Joe and Swerve. I forgot to mention that too. They didn't. Oh, uh, it was a contract signing. Contract signing. Joe signs right away, and uh, he starts saying something, and Joe like stands up. <laughs> Swerve just like knocks him like right in the fucking jaw, and Joe sells it like he like spins and then starts to, <laughs> starts to fall on the table. Like it looked, re- and plus Swerve had the big puffy jacket on, so it looked like this was like you know a, like this giant fist coming at him, like a Bane. I'm trying to think of a, yeah, a like fuzzy a, like jacket a, it looked character. Like his arm was the size of the Incredible Hulk, just like coming. Like, at I feel him. like uh, Bane isn't right. What about a Tekken? Is there a Tekken guy with a f- fuzzy coat? Uh, I don't know, maybe a newer one that I know of. Mm, okay. I'm a Brian Fury guy. Because, you know, um, like, Swerve isn't cool enough to be Bane. He yeah. could be, like, a formidable Tekken character. There were a lot of cyborgs in the Tekken stuff. Hmm. Brian was, and then there was the other dude. Cyborg with Swerve, yeah. Cyborg Brian Cage. Um, So, yeah, that does it for uh, Dying My Love Samoa Joe. Adam. Love him. Love him. Oh, he's doing a great and job. You know what? He should you not. Think, so, I think Swerve is going to get he's this going at Dynasty. To, but he shouldn't. He Dynasty shouldn't. is the name of the show. They like to do that. Now we oh, it's it. his it's his dynasty, which is like destiny. I think Swerve <laughs> needs one. I I think he needs a one on one heartbreaking loss as the fan favorite, and then he gets the second. Because you know it's 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 moving too quick. Like yeah, we don't do that. We don't do that in AEW. Right, exactly. He's he's skirting the heel line. So you know, whereas like you talk about like what we're gonna talk about for the next rest of the show, the Cody stuff. Should he have won last year? Blah blah blah. Finish the story. Should he lose this year? Well, well, I was talking about that. You know, like in <laughs> wrestling, a good babyface loss is like just as valuable as a championship win. So, like that one last year, I think we're gonna look back on the last year's thirty-nine loss as a good move. And and so I think Swerve needs a little 
mini piece of that pie. Yeah. Like he needs a, okay, crowd's all behind him. We all, oh, they're, they're definitely going to, on Swerve. Joe wins. And you know what? And Joe wins. Maybe without Hangman, because I'm worried that they're going to do well, Hangman. He hasn't been on TV, so I'm, I'm worried I'm, that they're going to do. I'm thinking he's just going to pop up. Yeah, because Swerve's going to have the one, two, three, and the fucking glass is going to break, and, and Hangman's going to drive out in a Zamboni. And fucking, like, the quad? Yeah, like, he's going to come out in a quad. Yeah. He's going to come out on a horse. He should come out in a Zamboni. It'll yeah. take a little bit. Yeah. He's going to come out on the Dark Order lawnmower and yeah, interrupt. Yeah, yeah. Dork fucking. Order. So, 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 number one would be. I don't want Swerve to win. I want Swerve to win, but not just I think yet. it's I safe to say it's Paige because he hasn't been on TV at all. Well, it's either a, a Swerve win or a Paige interference. I don't think that they're smart enough to just still gonna, I, I, Now that like I'm thinking about it, they may still... Then will be another match with Adam Page. Right. And Paige will win that one, and then that one will go to Joe, and then Paige is going to beat Joe. I think it's the worst case scenario. Oh, so they're, they're, really, they're going to really Cody Rhodes up... It, they're gonna really like extend the swerve um, path. Yeah. Well, I mean, oh, I no, think, I think they won't just because they they should do something with them and they have a good. So they're not character doesn't to. mean they're gonna do it. We've been through well, this. That kinda, you, know? you can kind of get into the brain of Tony Khan and he's probably watching Cody. And he's like, that's my guy. Make a champion without him winning. Well, but he's yeah. gonna do it. The, he's gonna try to do that with Swerve, but f- botch it. Like fuck it up. Yeah. Like it's that's why I don't, I'm not like, oh, this is. Well, don't worry, guys. It's fantasy I'm booking. We're gonna that, get there. Like it's not. I'm not happen. saying that they shouldn't pull the trigger on Swerve. I'm just saying that maybe give me one. I think best case scenario for me, Swerve loses in a valiant effort, and now leaving leaving Dynasty full baby feet, full finish the story type vibes. Right. Um, Everything cool. Oh, oh, it's right across from the. Um, I think someone just closed it after you. You're good. No one's in there because we have a bathroom upstairs. So if she's in there, then, you know. Adrenaline. Um, and I think second, second. So I want Swerve to lose clean. I would rather have Swerve win prematurely than have Adam Page get back involved. Worst case scenario is that Adam Page costs Swerve uh, the title, which I think is where they're yeah, going. Yeah, I think go. all roads lead to Adam Page. Um. So did you watch? Did you did you want to, anyone want to use the restroom before we start the WWE stuff? <clears throat> yeah, maybe I don't know. Should we do a big bathroom break? Yeah, we can do that. Should we, we put the music we got on? A three hour special. You know, I haven't been reading the chat because we're on. No, I have. I've been switching between. I've done actually pretty well. Um, lo, uh, let me do some shout outs to the shout chat. Uh, Erka, what's going on? Logan Stein, what's going on? Bren. The gang's all here. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my bathroom break. Talk about two things. Number Let's one, have it too, if you're still here, we were we were uh, talking about AEW and the inside jokes and like all the wackiness. So for our for the match that we put on last night, Low Life Louie couldn't make it right. So we had uh, a replacement. We had this whole idea because Low Life Louie, he like, and he's like uh, a Harlem, like Puerto Rican deathmatch fighter, you know, and he comes out with like the camo and the do rag. From Sunset Park, where yeah, I grew Sunset up. Sunset Park, right, right, right. Yeah, okay. So, you know, like, yo, it'd be mad funny if we had the hillbilly assume his identity, come out as like a wigger, you know, like just come out like thinking he's Low Life <laughs> Louie. So we had this whole plan. We bought him white camo and like we were going to have him just look like Low Life Louie, music, everything. Yeah. So, well, you know, it's like, work for me, bro. I think it's really funny. <laughs> so, so Brian comes up to me and he goes, Hey, new plan. Low, uh, Hillbilly's just going to wrestle as himself. And I was like, Oh, man, like, it was kind of so funny to me to watch him come out as Low Life Louie with the music and the whole thing. I was like, All right, whatever. You know, it's a fluid situation. Like, whatever. So then I go talk to my guy, my up and coming best friend, you know, uh, Necro Butcher, uh-huh. hero of my life. Um, in only the worst ways. And he goes, uh, and it's so weird. He like, he, he's very friendly to me. We talk baseball. And he goes, um, and I knew that he knew the answer to this question as he asked it to me. I feel like he was doing like some kind of wrestling test on me. He's like, Are you guys doing any productions tonight? Like, yeah, you know, we're doing a pod in b- before. We're doing a match after with Hillbilly, which is Hillbilly's like, is Necro's driver, young boy. He's like, oh, I know. 
He's like, I told Hillbilly you shouldn't dress up like Low Life Louie. That shit's fucking dumb. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. So, it, like, 10 minutes ago, I was, like, mad at Brian for making the call. Then it's like, well, oh, well, it comes down from Necro. So I was like, okay. I was like, hey, because um, I fucking live for talking about what we're talking about here, the psychology and the stories, you know. So I'm like, could you explain to me why? I was like, oh, man. I was like, why? Tell me why. And he goes, um, he goes, yo, are we AEW? I was like, yo, Necro, I didn't even know you had cable, dude. And he goes, uh, are we AEW? Like, what, he's like, think about it. There's 700 people here. Uh, 95% of them are here to see music. You know, yeah. to hear to see Ringworm and all these like huge bands and like eat the turnbuckle. So he's like, so he's like, nobody knows who I am, let alone Hillbilly, let alone Low Life Louie. Like, no disrespect to them. So he's like, it, it's basically what he was saying is that it's too much of an inside joke. Yeah, I, 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 I do agree. Well, what, yeah, I do agree too because. And and me and Steve, the man who taught me and Bald Steve, my uh, editing father, we would sit for the original Bullies videos and we'd be editing. I'd be like, he'd be like, cut that. I'm like, no, that's so funny. He'd be like, it's only funny to you yeah. because you have like 10 years of friendship with these guys. Yeah. Like, he's like, it, it, even if we, we would need a setup. And even if we did have a setup, it'd probably too long to even make it work. So like, just cut it. Like, it's, a, it's only funny to you. I was like, yeah, but me and we're all laughing. We're watching. He's like, yeah, because it's your joke. Yeah. So like, so that like, Necro once again surprises me with his wisdom. It's just interesting talking about like AEW and like they couldn't leave well enough alone. Like they have to address what's on the internet. They have to call out what's on. You know, it's almost like some Danny DeMonto energy too. It's like when I see a wrestling promoter like arguing with fans in the comments or like a wrestler. Or it's like when Buddy Matthews goes like. Don't forget, I I yeah. fuck Rhea. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's Rhea's like, my girl, yeah, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Dude. Yeah. So it's all like connected in like a way, and yeah. Well, and you know what's crazy too? Talk about like uh, perpetually online and actually re like as a fan who would like hate on like now I'm not gonna at Tony. You know, maybe I might hashtag something if I really was a passionate fan. But to me, as a fan tweeting, I would never believe that. The guy running the thing or that I'm tweeting about Cody or whoever would like see, would watch what I'm, would see what I say. And like Cody on Ariel Hawani was like, he was talking to him and expressing like deep knowledge of like the last video and the comments on the video. Like he's in touch in a slightly unhealthy way, but still he keeps it professional. Whereas like Tony is like. You know, like, like actually, on the other hand, yeah. you're an idiot. And then, and then, like, and then so... he'll like respond, and so then that lets the community know that you could get to him. Yeah. So that just floods in more. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it's like it's why the green light for like it's like no hold barred. Yeah. Yeah. Just why? Go. Why? You're and he bring he's bringing himself down to the level when he should be a higher power as the fucking owner. Yo, it's like and he hired. Think about who he's got around him: Jerry Lynn, Dean Malenko. Fucking, you know, a they Mark had Arn. I don't think Arn's with him anymore, right? Right, but he has all these guys. Still, and Jr. Like, Siobhan. Yeah, yeah but and you know, and, and you know what? You don't need you don't need Jr. to tell you no, sell it, kid. You know, but but if he has to, you'd think that at that point you'd finally listen to Jr. Yeah. You know, so it's it's like how many people probably have told Tony Khan, yo, no, sell it. Unless they're all afraid to give him the honest opinion. No, they are. They want That's the, the money. whole issue. Is like because they don't want to fuck up their payday. Right. Right. Well, that's a good. That's a good. That's something of Vince that that should be adapted. That's a good quality. You know what I mean? Like how it's just like me against the world type shit. Leo, and it's like you know, it's not even like I'm arguing with you. You don't even exist. I'm the only thing that exists. You know, like that's kind of what Vin, that was Vince's thing. You know, whereas like and think about think about it's a story as old as time. WCW comes on Nitro because Raw is pre-taped and they shit on the Mick Foley title defense because they break the fourth wall. They fucking appeal to smart fans and they think they're doing something so special. And what does everybody do? It backfires on them and they turn the channel. And that's that's the fucking parable right there. And that like the no no sell. No sell. Right. It's like, let me go see this. Which is basically that's how that's what we're doing with AEW. We're making people want to watch by 
Yeah, that's why it. I watch it because yeah. of the show. <laughs> um, so we're gonna take a five minute break. We've been doing like an hour and a half, so I'm gonna get a little snack and some water. You want to just put the music on and, and we'll, we'll let's put some music on. Thanks for watching. All right, we'll be right back after like five minutes. This is actually the, the first bathroom. cast that I've never smoked a cig during. Now well, now taking, you can smoke a. Now cigarette. that we're taking that's a five, I'm, I'm gonna. I know you're gonna start Jones and soon, so just get that screen up, please. On. I'm a, I'm gonna have a piece. Nah, he smokes cigs and joints and stuff on the air. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, guys, after a few minutes.
the next day he leaves and then my other buddy comes in and we're definitely going to try and cook like in the lot like burgers dogs and stuff like that so cook some crack yeah i guess i should go hey um oh well, snacks oh snacks wow you, i said in the discord that um your girl is very lovely, and I can't believe she lets you throw remotes over sports gambling. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I would just um just watch get the get up. Well, then again, that's the thing. The issue. Makes me... oh, Here, the oh, actually, no, we can do that. You'll just have this in front of you. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. No, it's fine. No, it was, we, we've had a, of... we had a few about like where people were positioned and shit. It's part of, all part of the program. Uh, are, are we live? Because I have something I, I really yes, need to live. talk about. Yeah. Now, Joe, we have two different shows on this channel. We have the Boulevard Bullies versus the World, which is a more like, you know, um, raunchy Spencer's Gifts version of the show and then we have of course our show which is like high intelligence outlines outlines okay. sheets good takes positive vibes sheets and sheets of data uh the flagship show mm -hmm. so you'd think that brian the unhinged lunatic that's on tuesday nights and joe the well-researched man on thursday nights think man these guys 
couldn't be any further apart in ideologies. They probably don't have one single thing in common. But I have unearthed what will bond you guys from this day forward. From now until WrestleMania 50 and beyond. <laughs> Both Brian and Joe have Pikachu slippers. Bidets. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I mean, you'd think that, like, hey, man, these two guys, they have nothing in common, but both men, bidets on the toilet. So, shout out to you. Yeah, it's like an Indian, European thing, I guess. Oh, come on. Oh, what are you, you're, you're, you're deflecting? You can't no, just not. take ownership of. No, because everyone besides America is clean. That's why. It's like, that's very. Oh, geez. You to make it negative. Well, no, I mean, Brian isn't, like, any sort of, I guess, real. He's not super ethnic. Well, his um, his fiance is Albanian. So do Albanians? Oh yeah, man, that might influence that a little. There you bit. go. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Shout out. Yeah, probably the only bidet in all of Philadelphia, right here in this home. And it's actually one on the second floor too. <laughs> two two They'll stories. Blow a, blow a hole in your ass, but it's like <laughs> the one upstairs. The pressure's even worse. It shoots you up to the ceiling. Yeah, it's. You could definitely do some damage. Uh, all right, so we're gonna start the WWE uh, the WrestleMania WWE. Seg segment of the show. Um, did you watch SmackDown last week? Did I watch SmackDown last week? So much has happened. I feel like last Friday is probably feels like a month ago. Well, this so had the triple point by uh, all three black girls. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> uh. Trying to mimic. Uh, Yo, I hate. What were they trying to mimic? Oh, no. They I think they were trying to mimic something on AEW. It was like the meme was like, uh, let me uh, just copy my your homework well, and just because, change it a little bit. Like, well, I mean, I think they're like something from like AEW, but I already forgot. And, and, you know, I don't want to think like this. I don't want to think this way because like so much of wrestling booking, like even 10 years ago, wrestling booking was um, outdated, you know, in its, um, I don't know, representation, right? But it's like they still fall back on the same tropes where it's like, oh, Sasha Banks is coming in. Who should we pair with? Willow. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, and so, so like I didn't really want to think that way, but like it's definitely what people were saying. Like, oh, like, you know, just like the, the uncultured like white guy promoter or, you know, like, you know, whatever, like norm promoter is going to be like, oh, let's get the two. You know, this will be the segment. Yeah. So, yo, and, we'll and over, I... I don't know. Am I a bad person? Like when, when Naomi, <laughs> Bianca, and uh, Jade. Jade making her SmackDown debut. Was it SmackDown pointing to debut? the sign. I was like, yo, this is like what Vince McMahon would do. Yeah. Y you know what I mean? Like, it's like, why do they have to? And I could have seen Jade versus Bianca. Like that little moment they had at the Royal Rumble. It didn't have to be about the ethnicity. It was about that they were both like strong ass babes. Yeah. You know? But then, then they throw Naomi in. And they're all pointing. Yeah. Ah, uh, it was a little crazy. Well, I guess to me. it's like to set up their mania match. So. Well, it's a six-way six between. Women, uh, what is it? It's the other three members of Damage Control. Yeah. yeah. But it's six, so it's the women's are only two, right? Yeah. Yeah. There's no. Trio. But they're not. Yeah, they're not defending on the show. So it's Bailey versus three EO, of them versus. And then the three of them versus Jade and Bianca. Um. Uh. It would be Oscar. Kyrie and Dakota. Yeah. Well, and you know, listen, it's probably the right thing for Jade. Well, really, the right thing for Jade would to be to fight somebody and demolish them. Fight somebody who you think is going to be an even thing and Goldberg it up. I think that would be very easy. Five minutes, get Jade on WrestleMania. Yeah. Have her, like, kill Bianca or something, you know, something. Yeah. But set up a return. But but I guess it makes sense, like, just like the rocks in the tag. Like, Bianca's in... Or, um, Jade is in the tag, yeah. six man tag, so it's like less, like less. Well, they have to because she still can't wrestle herself out of her paper bag. So and and, I'm, and, and they need can? to get her on the show, right? She's so got to be put on the show. Bianca and and Naomi. Yes, yeah. and they want to start exposing her, and they've already pumped the brakes on her because then they saw her probably at the PC and were like, "Whoa, yeah, what? what? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, exactly. So she's in. So she's yeah. She could come in, do like a press slam, yeah. do like some. She's still gonna. Stuff. She might botch, man. She's fucking ear to ear, smiling and like doing like weird. Like she's definitely excited and very anxious and scared. You can tell. And I, now they throw her right into mania, like her third appearance, even just at the rumble. She fared well, but like she lost in the mix and protect her. But shit, it's gonna point. be. Yeah, 
Yeah, too many bad habits in AEW. So what else happened on this show? I mean, it was the uh, Rock was it the on the home, show. The home invasion happened as well on this show. Or was that Monday? That was One, SmackDown, wasn't it? Or, uh, before that, so nothing else really happened on this SmackDown. I don't think. I guess they probably decided. I have the raw last results team, up. The la- but... Did they pro- did they decide the last team in the six pack ladder? I think that might happen. But then they took. Oh. Oh, oh okay, so they yeah. had a Mexican standoff. They had yeah, a they yeah. had a bloodline standoff. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then it led to Raw, which was in the Barclays Center. In the New Barclays York. Center. I wanted to go to that so bad, but it's like, oh man. Yeah, like, he was trying to get me to go and stuff. What am I gonna Did you go? No. Yeah, I mean, you know Well, and especially like right before Mania, it's like, oh man, do I need to drop like another few hundred dollars on a thing that's like oh, a pre plenty of stuff going on this week. Yeah. So I mean I lo- I love a Raw in the Barclays Center, especially the Rock. You know, they, they're tweaking that entrance. So about to say, so they started the show with The Rock, right? And with his even newer, newer, newer entrance. Yeah, every, every where time. Where it's now showing the silhouette. On- and now it's him on the screen. And then now it's like, the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when it goes into the transition of like, dun, 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 dun. boom. Yeah, dun, I love it too. Dun. I was saying this And on, he had uh, the cow. Right. <laughs> Did you yeah. see the meme? The, the cow like, vest. He was like, girls, I need a new outfit, guys, 20 years later. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the before and after. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. But, uh, you know, I was talking about this on uh, on Wednesday with Drunk GM with uh, Prince Havoc. Tune in Wednesdays. Uh, you know, I'm very, like, I like a good breakdown. Like, I like a, I'm a very musical, heavy metal. Like, I like a groove. And and it's just like wrestling. You got to build to the break. Yeah. So like I like the the original that they were kind of it was kind of like patchwork so it was like if you smell but but with the rock is cook it and then there would be like a measure or two of like the regular tempo yeah yeah and it's like so like that little like like when it broke and like had that tempo and then it slowed it down the tempo change it's like oh that's so heavy but now they've like spoon fed it to the fans just like Necro doesn't want. Hillbilly dressing as low yeah, life yeah. Louie. It's like too deep okay, your cup, brother. Yeah, let's let's okay. Yeah, that might be good, but let's we really need to get the Snickers eaters to love this one. Yeah, you know, we, we like, the so turbo like, taxers. We need the turbo yeah. taxers, right? So so it's like okay, let's cut out that confusing musical part, and we'll just have it be intro. Like here he comes. <laughs> I think it's because he wants the face pop, because you know his segments have been like face and then like baby face and then like then go into heel stuff. Right. Like the last few weeks. It's um that's all it is. He wants the hood duh, 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 duh. like they want that whole big pop and then all right, no, remember I'm a bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bag. Kind of, I'm kind, an that's actor. all yeah. yeah, that's all it is. And it's kind of like I don't know, it's, it's 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 working fine. It is somewhat confusing when you really dissect it. But in the end it's like, eh, it's the rock, it's fine, it's WrestleMania. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's I give it a pass. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's why I give it a pass. It's fine. At first, I was like, what are we doing? And then it was like him apologizing after the crack comments, kind of. And it was like, oh, I love Memphis, this, that, and the third. Now go home and but, smoke some crack. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was the best. Yeah, that, that was a... I'm surprised he The hasn't... one online was even funnier. Like, oh, my mommy, my mommy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck <laughs> story. And then yeah. he goes, off oh, is the direction. You can fuck. <laughs> Yo, so and fun. you know what? Yeah, he's getting them ready for f bombs on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, uh, I'm into it. I'm into him. You know, we've 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 what been did hot he, and cold. What did he say in this promo? Does anyone remember? <laughs> no, no idea. No idea. <laughs> I think he just I think he just walked to the ring for two hours. Yeah, probably. I I mean, did Cody come out? <sighs> I mean, Joe, you're asking the wrong guy. Oh no, no, no! Wait a minute. This this was the Cody come out first, and then the Rock came out, and they stared. It was a, well, that was a no, that's oh, two. Oh, that was the week before. That's two Mondays That was ago. the week before. I'm no, sorry. No, at Barclays, it ended with... Okay. It, it, it Bar- Chicago was raining. Barclays. Whipping. Whipping. And he whipped the that's referee. Right. I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't watch it all the way. That's right. Yeah. So, oh, they came out. Oh, this is what happened. They came out, and then Seth came out and was, did the shield entrance. Yeah, yeah. And the, they did you see the fan, the fan <laughs> like this fucking close with the... I'm like, this is gonna be a yo, meme. and then I saw right. that, and then I saw that somebody like retweeted, but like that kid posted it, and like somebody, like so somebody, I was like, waiting for the post. I was, I was watching it with her. This, you know, and then like that kid posted, yeah. it, so that thread like dug up the footage, like the guy posted it and showed it. It was like, yeah, and then yo, but I mean, that's 
That's yeah, kind of like Boulevard Bully style. So like, he, you get yeah. Yeah, <laughs> real tight. Yeah, yeah, real tight. Real, real, real tight. I was waiting for Yo, him to do Rollins, that. I think Rollins Old played Roll- to him. He went like this, turned right into it. Yeah. You know, gave the kid, he gave the kid some good footage. He's like, well, fuck, what, like, you know, what am I going to do? Might as well. Yeah. Like, he's like, so, let's meme it. So he wanted, he was like, Rock versus Seth tonight. That's what he said. Right, right. And he then it ended up being Solo versus Seth. And he's like, I put my money where my mouth well, is. He so- said it. He was like, how about you put your money where your mouth is? Yeah, so it's that's so like that's so wrestling where he co- it's like the go home that that's so go home where it's like how about the architect versus the final boss right here in the Barclay Center yeah. I don't want to wait any longer or whatever and then they sw- they switch it and by the way great job to get Solo involved who doesn't really yeah. have like a big mania oh, thing yeah. I got big um, plans for him oh yeah yeah he's dope he's dope and and yeah like he they got big plans for him. And the fact that his evolution is now on pause because this whole thing is happening, I'm not even worried about him. You know what I mean? I'm not even. I worried think we're gonna get him. the same spot from last year too, but it's gonna be but countered. Your, I, dude, I said oh, that yeah. on the, I said that the Monday after. I was like, they're gonna do next year, and he's gonna have, he's gonna do, he's gonna Bruce Lee block it. Yeah. You know. That'll be the- yeah. Or yeah, he'll they'll get it, and then he'll yeah. kick out of it. Yeah, he'll and kick. He'll it. Yeah. Oh, dude, you know what? You just hold on. We'll talk about it in a little bit. We'll get there. Uh, <laughs> so hey, we're in town. Um, we're in town, dude. So I guess the show is kind of like just whatever. I only got like a seven and three quarters. So trying to see if anything was worth it. There was an eight man. There I was, was surprised that they ended it with was Cody getting the shit beat out of him again. But I like yeah. it. I want that. So I what? So the, the show was kind of a whatever. So it was what? Seth and Solo, no contest. Uh, it was Seth and Solo. Bloodline rules to give you a little preview oh. of what kind of uh, you know. No, just no contest, yeah. And then yeah, it's still it's the longest match in WWE history. Yeah, it's like the Braun is the longest, um, uh, greatest Royal Rumble champion still. Well, and like Curtis Saudi. Axel still never got eliminated from that one year that he. That yeah, yeah. He <laughs> Yeah, he's he's so, he's, so, like a long, he's so been what, there for three years. He's been in the rumble for four years. So what ended up happening? Is they just stomped him out, just and then the, the show just ended? Like, yo, and yeah, you know oh, they, you whipped him with the weight they belt. They did it again too because it was, yeah, Mama Rhodes. I I don't like the Mama Rhodes. Mama, Ro- Mama Reigns. I mean Mama Rhodes. <laughs> yeah, everything else is working for me. Like, just leave his mom out of it. Yeah. If anything, get Brandy involved. Yeah. Well, now they're showing her, so that might happen too. Oh my. God. And they're gonna go hardcore family. You now there's like you know. Gold dust rumors and stuff, so we'll, we'll get to that in a sec. We could just jump right into Mania stuff. That'd be awesome. Yeah, go ahead. Um, all right. Yeah, you see, it'll be good for us. <laughs> no, because it's not like it's, yeah, it's not like AW. It's not like WWE's gonna be yeah, like, it's oh, like it's, they said the not like they said TNA with Jordan when she showed. Yeah, up. they're gonna say, oh, here comes here comes Cody's brother who was used to be Gold Dust. My, my, it's my it's my family. <laughs> it's my family. Yeah, it's like I was my. Son. Yeah, you know. Oh, well, that's what. And he'll switch it up. He'll Dustin will be like, "I'm sick. I need to. I need to see my brother finish the story." You know uh, what? All of those scenarios make me so happy. Whether Dustin comes in, whether Cody, whether Brandy comes in, whether Stone Cold and Cena come out. Here's why I don't want it to be Stone. Because here's why I don't want it to be Stone Cold. And and what we're referencing is that when Roman was... Uh, I'm sorry, when The Rock was beating the shit out of Cody in the rain, there was maybe an Easter egg for long-term storytelling. Yeah, the- that showed the trailer of Cena and uh, Austin in the back, yeah. No, yeah, with him petting his cat? Is this like wild cats? <laughs> no. Stone Cold posted... Brother. Left beers. He's like, oh, you get that uh, fuck out of here, nerd! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh, like somebody. Oh, don't like, just don't know who sheets and sheets. Yeah, of data. yeah. Charlie Day, you sheets fucking. Sheets and data. The fucking. No, I, I take no that's that's. that's what you're yeah. Well, well, it's like even with the Mercedes thing, her showing up in AEW, they have to make it so goddamn obvious because they know a majority of the fan base is like, you know, like, hello, like, 
They have to be. They have to hit them over the fucking head, right. or they're not gonna like buy the fucking ticket, or like you know. Right. Well, they needed to have it be a surprise that still sold tickets. Yeah. Whereas like WrestleMania, oh, I had no idea. But already it's so fucking that. you know obvious. Um, um, okay, so let me tell you real quick why I don't want Stone Cold to to or Cena to come. It does make sense where it's like. Oh, it's WrestleMania 40, old and new, and and WWF and WWE and TKO, and we're gonna like we we need to be able to wash down. We need to separate Stone Cold from Vince, right? So the, it, like on paper, it all makes sense. But the only reason I don't want it is because it makes me think of when it was Sting versus Triple H, and they made it about. DX coming out, and then they made it about NWO coming out. Now, once again, on paper, as like a fan who grew up in that time, it's like, yo, this is kind of dope. It's kind of surreal. But as far as like a match goes, it kind of it kind of brought them all down. It seemed like a WrestleCon type of thing. So I just don't want. That's just my fear. My forty. I'm the opposite. Yeah. Like I Oh, of co oh, like so everyone comes out. So it's like, like so DX is fighting, is fighting. Uh, so Rikishi comes out, but then Goldust comes out, fights off Rikishi. Yeah. And your guy Fatu comes out. Scotty Tuhati comes out, beats, fights him off. Tonga comes out, fucking um, you know, it's like uh, all of like whoever Cody used to come out with with like the, all the jackets. All the jackets. Tonga comes out. MJF comes out. Fights him off. Yeah, the dog. Jr. The dog's biting. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ted DiBiase Jr. The, and, like Pharaoh is not biting. not him. Like, Doesn't he have a felony or something now? Like, and, he's and, like, like, and, yeah. like they're going to yeah, yeah. induct the Rock's grandma and then Pharaoh's going to come out and bite his grandma. You yeah. know? And it's like, and it's like yeah. The, so, the, the dog. The I think the dog should definitely get involved. Well, you remember the dog got like terribly traumatized from the one and only appearance on AEW television because they blew uh, like $50,000 worth of fireworks oh, off right spooked. his ear. Oh, yeah. such a shame. Spooked the dog. Um, so what do you want to do? You want to go, we'll just briefly go over the cards. Seeing that, or you want to just uh, continue talking about the main or we do the DraftKings stuff? DraftKings thing kind of covers a good... Uh, What's your show? Let's go one. Let's go. Let's let's break down. Let's go. Let's just go card by, by match. match by match. Okay. Yeah. So I have the card up here from. I think this is the full card for Saturday's night one. Saturday's on the. I'm I'm interested in Saturday because that's well, the one I might attend. Let's go over the stuff that is interesting. So I mean, there's Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee versus Santos Escobar and Dominic Mysterio. Did you say that you were gonna go over things that were interesting? That's what I'm saying. Just a moment it's, ago. Exactly. So can we skip this? Is that fine? No, we should talk because Dominic Mysterio, I think it's worth saying. Why are they randomly just throwing him into another Mania match with his right. dad after and it's no, like, and, and you no know what, build? Talk about, talk about the three ladies pointing at the sign. Yeah. It's like, does every Spanish guy in the company need to be incorporated with the, the Judgment Day? It's like, you know, the Judgment Day has their little, like, hot topic room. And Rey Mysterio's there. And then, like, the LWO is, like, there. And then, like, the LWO bad guys are there. And the, and they, yeah. yeah, then they give bring Andrade in. Yeah. It's like, oh, let's just throw all this. And uh, what the fuck, the brothers Umberto and the other guy? Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, well, they're they're involved now. It's like, yeah, so that's like whatever. the Spanish dude thing, you know? Um, yeah, and I think that that if you think about mania as a reward for your your body of work for the past year, I think Dom is getting like a little bit of the short end of the stick. Yeah, I think Dom 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 deserves a little better. I've always yeah. liked him. So now so. he's just like a, a like the, you know. It, I guess you could look at it like he's elevating that. He's so over that he's elevating. He's the actually interest. the biggest star in this match right. now. Wh yeah. Which, which is like, I guess from a booking, like from a responsibility that they're putting on him perspective, it's like a win. But for like a match for him, it's kind of an L. You yeah, know? because I mean, he I'm already he beat Ray. So it's like, wait, yeah, where yeah. do you go now? You have a tag team match. You're gonna beat him again. Okay, cool. Um, then the six. Unless Ray joins. Oh, is that the group with es es Escobar? It's all the bad, bad oh, so uh, like, Latin guys. But not the dark, not the dark Latin guy with the Irish guy and the buff girl. <laughs> it's fucking so weird. No, yeah, it's uh, well, yeah, but but see if that happens. Andrade, the way he looks and presents himself, he's got to be the leader of whatever group he's in next. But if Dom's going to get away from Judgment Day and do another group, he should be the leader. Yeah. Dom should... So if yo, if they had Dom hire and be the leader of Andrade and those guys, like, nah, I, can f I fuck with that a little bit. Yeah. 
Andrade right. won them. Well, I feel like Andrade has history with all these guys when on his like original run. I couldn't tell you what it is, but I feel like he interacted with all of them. Jomo commented in the Discord, me looking at two white men talking about representation. Oh my god, yo, that, <laughs> that's the second that's the second time somebody said um two white guys have a podcast. Last night we got flamed. I was just like, yeah, that's why I don't promote it. Last, the, last night, podcast, last night, like, the girl I was hanging out with was, I was like, oh, me and Joe, they, this is my podcast. She's like, oh, another two white guys with a podcast. I was like, oh my god, okay, like, oh, I I'm quit. Kidding, I'm kidding. I quit, I'm like, I quit no. the whole show. Oh, geez, that would that really hurt uh, me. Deep, so we already like, talked about the six man, the Bianca, Jade, Naomi versus Damage Control, whatever, and then uh, six pack ladder match for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Champions. Uh, Finn Balor and Damian Priest versus Johnny Same Face uh, and Tommaso uh, Champ. Current oh. champions are Judgment Day. Correct. Right. I'm just blowing through it. Uh, Miz and Our Truth. Mm -hmm. Um, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Yeah. Austin. It says Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. This might be an old list. Did they get taken off that? Okay, so there's rumors of Stone Cold. So, uh, uh, for the record, stunners. we can't hear you over there, so I might have to repeat some stuff you guys say, but you can continue what you're doing. But they, the chat can't hear. Suppressor. Uh... Um, I, 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 well, also, Pete Dunn and uh, Tyler Bate are also in this match. Oh, thank God. I, I heard Motor City do. Machine Guns, uh, Hardys. No, Matt, Matt shot that down. He said. So, no. Yeah. And All he right. Said, he so said no Hardys. He, he was on Van Vliet. Machine guns might be, but that's gonna fall on deaf ears and yeah, they they'll it'll mm, it, Philly. It might. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Good take. Yeah, and there's a shit ton of ECW presence at that store and all this weekend. So what, what, that would be a huge pop. They need to have someone that has. A, it's gonna be a pop roll. Yo, I'm I'm you know all like that's Dudley. there for a pop. I can't think about anything else now because there's nothing in Dudley's. the undercard that anyone cares about until like what the tag. And yeah. there were some there were some rumors like a while ago that they were gonna do a, a quick run. There was like I feel like there was rumors. Well, they, they both have legends it. contracts, right? Yeah. Well, Bubba does. Yo, and, um, and does both Devon? Of them, both of them could still wrestle. Yo, come out. Well, it's a tag match with a bunch of guys. Yeah, like power bomb a guy, fucking three D through a table. Yeah, Who? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then you just did the three D table spot, this, that, and the third. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, who should win? It almost said two white guys with a podcast groundbreaking. <laughs> Ugh, so complicated. Sheets and sheets of data. Uh, so yeah, that's it for the tag. Uh, oh, wait, who do you think's going to win? Oh, well, I think whoever uh, shows up might win. Okay. Um, but that then I think like that's also a question <laughs> in the DraftKings. Who's going to win the yeah, six pack? So whoever is the surprise will win. Oh, whoever the surprise is will win. Just whoever's like, going to show up in the match, yes. We'll yeah, win. whoever shows up, yeah. Like the indies. Uh, you know what's crazy about that 2017 Hardy Boys thing? is like that pop was one thing, and I was like... I told you, I cried. Yo, I... Well, I was also third row and about 12 beers in, so... <laughs> uh, but the craziest snuck thing... down to like... Is the that they won that match, session. too. That's what yeah. I'm saying. It's the same shit. It was like double pop. Because it was yeah. like, oh, okay, they're here. And then it's like, holy fuck, I can't believe they yeah, fucking well, there won. You go. There's the run. Dudley show up, and it's fun. Uh, Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. This hasn't, ex I got, hasn't exactly been uh, built up all that well. Well, Jay has uh, new shorts. He's got yeet shorts. He's got the he's got the entrance. Pretty dope. And uh, he's got I, the entrance. I, he's got a shirt. And I'm pretty sure that Little Wayne is gonna sing him to the ring too. There, there's also I mean, some you, what, there's also the some going? cool questions on the DraftKings thing we're gonna do. That's about like who they show, like Uzi Vert, the uh, whoever first. So we'll we'll get to that. I mean, yeah. uh, they had <laughs> Jay Uso is so cringe. They're all so all all the wrestlers are so, so cringe. And they're so, like, so, say less, Uso. Yeah. <laughs> like okay, Bet. it's like oh yeah, all right. Oh, little Wade, you're gonna be oh yeah, little Wade's just sitting on this fucking piece of equipment backstage <laughs> waiting for somebody to ask him to perform his entrance music. Um, I want to see Lil Wayne come out and do uh, the Cody song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want him to see? The, he'll definitely, he's definitely gonna sing like "In Your City" or whatever. I think the number one entrance music I want to see Lil Wayne perform is Nia Jax's original. I'm not like yeah, those yeah. girls. Banger. 
So who do you think? Jay wins this, I guess? That's... I mean, I think I, I think, feel like this is like an over overdone take, but I mean, it's brothers. And their story is kind of even as compelling as like imagine the video package of this match where it's like I'm out. <sighs> but you're out too. Ah, <sighs> you know like uh, the whole story from when they elevated the Usos to the bloodline. Yo, I'm uh, this video package is going to steal the show. And and the match might too cuz yo, you think about it. They're going to be doing what they've done their whole entire lives. At WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? It's like the first person that either one of them wrestled was each other. It's going to be a lot of super kicks, that's oh, for sure. Yeah, this what one do you does. Think about, let's, get a, let's get a super kick over under line from you. Give me the uh, line. Uh, set, set probably the, like at least, definitely over eight. Seven and a half. All right, so over under super kick, seven and a half. Yeah, at least. Uh, you yeah. think, oh, you're going 10. They'll be like one or two, and then they'll have maybe a segment where they They're start like no-selling no each other and like hitting like, pop, 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 pop. Eight each. Yo, you know what? When well, you just hits the over. But, you, you know, but there's a reason why the Young Bucks are kind of dope is because there is a certain point in the match where the fighting spirit is perfectly timed. So, like, if they do have a flurry of, like, Super kick, oh, I'm back. And they just fighting spirit the fuck out of each other with super kick. I'm into that, Joe. I'm into that. All right. They uh, told the six pack, yo, no super kick. Eight, uh, 12 wrestlers in the six pack. You can't do any. Head. Well, no who's going to be? Uh, J, Jimmy and Jay are after you. So. Well, no, Gargano is in it, so he does super kicks. Uh, if Gargano and Ciampa win, yeah, I riot. Yeah, Pete Dunn maybe, yeah. If Gargano wins, I riot. Um. Sorry. All right. What's next? What team is from Philadelphia? There. Oh, the Dudley Boys. The Mr. Yeah, we're assuming the Dudley Boys. All right. Yeah, all right. Dudley. Dudley's all the way. Um. Women's World Champion. No, I'm sorry. Uh. WWE <laughs> Intercontinental Championship. Gunther Champ versus Sami Zayn. Oh, this is so cold to me. Yeah, I wanted. I. I want it to not be. I want it to have the same magic as Sami last year, except with Gunther now. But it's Rush. They. Yeah, they they piece it together. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, built it too late. Yeah, they didn't know what to do. They were undecided. You know, I really believe that with that gauntlet where they were like, for a few weeks they were like, oh, here are the, like they had them backstage. Who's going to challenge Gunther? I think they just fucking looked on Twitter and saw whoever yeah, had yeah. the best analytics and Damn just picked me. it up. But uh, yeah, I think it should be Gable. Should have been in this. I, I, yeah, it should have been. He had, the, he had the juice. He had the Sammy magic. And I love Sammy. But, uh, nah. Shorty G. Yeah, he's great. He is. But they showed his kids. They showed his yeah. kids. That's all you need. <laughs> I have kids. kids. You made my kids cry. <laughs> yeah, but um, I think I think a Gunther dub. Because yeah. you think about how you probably you're probably gonna to get be. you're gonna get a babyface win. You're gonna get a title change on night two. Theoretically. Yeah. Theoretically. You're, gonna get, you're gonna get Drew winning. In a landslide victory, I think that's a no-brainer. So you need something. You need like a bad taste. You need a bad guy thing. Yeah. Like I, I don't even think Drew, Drew don't fill that quota. I think you need a you need a Gunther winning against Sammy. Just destroy, just destroy Sammy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, so is Drew and Seth night one too? No, no, it's oh, no, because one, he's in oh, the right, main. Right. Okay, okay. So after okay, this, yeah. it's uh, Rhea and Becky for the title. I think it's an easy win for Rhea. I think Rhea's going to do it. Rhea. So, they, it's, so it's just they're feeding Rhea Now, Becky. if they put it on Becky, that's kind of like Becky politics because she has like a book and it's Becky and it's that's how it is. That would be uh, like I'd old, hate for her to do that. Yeah, that would be that would be like W. That would be WWE. That we hate. Bullshit. Yeah, That's like that Vince be, McMahon bullshit. Yeah, that would be WWE bullshit. That's smart hunter shit. That would be John Cena. The match will be good. Again. It'll probably be the best women's match of the weekend, I think. Um, yeah, she's. Uh, yeah, she. Uh, it's. It's kind of hard to. Uh, uh, it's very skewed because she's incredibly popular with like uh, men, and then but very popular with women. Yeah, so, so she's just very popular. She yeah, she's very popular. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yo, um, I, all I care about is she gonna bust out a WrestleMania stink face. 
Absolutely not. No. She's going to win this clean collegiately. She's yeah, that's a, how she's stuff blood, her. She's got blood sport, this shit. Yeah. Which we still haven't. We'll talk about that next week. Yeah. Um, And then the tag match, Rock and uh, Roman versus uh, Cody and Seth. So I, I'll give you one of two options, Joe. For the bloodline rule stip. Right, for the bloodline rule stipulation. Uh, Next I, I'll let you choose your own adventure here in regards to this uh, tag team main event. Do you want to fantasy book it out of the mind of Jedi Joe? Or do you want to try to predict what the booking is? Um, I think Roman works... Uh, I don't know where whatever one of this falls into. Okay, just to just answer. I yeah. guess just like Roman, I think Roman's gonna work majority of the match. I mean, like Rock can really. I don't think you hear. Yeah, so Roman's gonna work majority of the match, and then I think I think it's really just gonna be Roman and like Cody kind of doing their own thing the whole night again. You know, it's gonna be just like a precursor because Seth, I don't think is healthy. Rock can't go, um, and then. Seth well, I'll, I'll tell you, I don't know if Rock's going to surprise people, but they will manufacture the moments to get that, re to elicit that reaction. Right. So, yeah. unless, well, I was talking about this last week, unless they build the whole thing to protect the Rock, and the Rock goes, I can go, and bites off more than he could chew because of his own ego. Yeah. You know, but, like, I think that they would write it so that, it's like, it's almost like, um, fucking, who the fuck, Pat McAfee versus Adam Cole. It's like Adam Cole ran that match, but they gave Pat like the few spots. Like, oh, you can do a backflip, okay? Yeah. Like to make to make everyone to have everyone go, oh, this guy, you still got it. Yeah. You know, like they're they're gonna manufacture those moments. I saw there. a super rock bottom. Somebody did did it on like two K. It looked pretty cool. Off it was the like, top rope? No, no, it, no. It wasn't a. It, was, it wasn't super like top rope. It was like some like wrist clutch thing and then like kind of threw the guy up and then brought him into a rock bottom kind of thing. And I, it, it, it gonna... looks somewhat realistic, but it involved the rock uh, being a little more agile. Uh, well, so I don't is know the rock going to be able to do the float over DDT? Yeah. You think so? Yeah, you think he's actually been trying to, like, well, in a ring, getting the rust burned, stuffed? He burned down half of Hawaii to build his... Training center, obviously. Gallus? Who's that? Who, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. The Coffee Bros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe Coffee. Yeah, from, they were in progress. Huh, that's and, interesting. And then the UK. NXT yeah, I mean, UK. well, and, and what was... Uh, it's more like, it's I'm more intrigued of who's going to get pinned. I think it's going to be the heels that win, but who... So Cody eats the pin, okay, and then Rock right. pins him? More sympathy. More sympathy. We're doing full Jesus with But Cody. Rock pins him? And is Cody getting a lot of offense in on a Rock in this match? Well, first of all, I don't think that you see Roman versus... I don't think... Like, Roman versus Cody, just like the Rock's positive spots, are going to be highly manicured and planned. Like, so, they're going to get in the ring. They're going to do the Hogan, whatever. There'll be like a drop down, hip toss, whatever. It'll be, it'll tag be, out. It'll be tag very out. Bullshitted. Right. Yes. right. It's gonna hype up night two, and then you mix that in with the Rock giving you know feats of athleticism. You still got it. Maybe uh, a little yeah. kip up, right? A little kip up. A little people's elbow. What? What's the? What's the? Um. Hold on. Let me think about this. What's the people? What's this people's elbow spot for this? Because you know they're gonna they're gonna do a people's elbow, but then something's gonna happen. Are we getting stolen finishers in this one, or that's next night? Oh, you know what? Cody did kind of tease that he was gonna rock bottom the rock's ass through the announce table. The other <laughs> night. He fucking he went like, like he, he like, yeah. he like did the thing. Usually they kind of they usually they kind of keep the uh, stolen finishers for the one v one, but um. Who knows? I, know. I mean, it's an opportunity for Cody to do or Seth or someone to do, you know, another finisher. I think there might also be some. Uh, oh, we might get a double power bomb, like a little. Uh, uh, shield yeah, oh, like shield, shield action. Yeah. Knock out the rock and rock through the table. Eh. I, I, if any any combination, even though it's the Lego finisher, table, but yeah. Lego, hey, Lego table. As long as Pat McAfee's sitting there, I'm happy. But uh, I think end of the night, so you can rebuild it. So it's the fine. one stolen finisher combination I want to see is the rock give. Crossroads to Cody, uh, or the, or the Rock. Or the, oh, okay, how about the Rock? How about the Rock curb stomps Cody? The Rock. The Rock curb stomps Cody and Seth. 
yo, I mean, this it has a high botch factor that move because you have to like the guy has to like tears his quad. (laughs) See, that's what you don't (laughs) fucking want. Yeah, Yeah. the only the other guy who took it the best is Brock. You know, I mean, he takes much majority of the route. But um, uh, great, but. Yeah, I mean, that is a final boss kind of maneuver is to steal a finisher, and the curb stomp is a little final bossy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. Randy I think it'll be cool. Punt. <laughs> punt. How about double pedigree? Well, Seth Cody. And wait, oh, wait a minute. Stereo. Cody already. Cody and Seth already do it, right? Yeah. yeah so, yeah, it's a double. So, they, they do stereo they, pedigree? It's going to be a very, like, silly match. Oh, I you can't know? wait. It's going to be good. Double stereo pedigree, double pin, one, two. Kick ah! out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The place goes nuts. Um, They're riding in the streets. Joe's climbing up lampposts, stealing Jade Cargill, <laughs> Philadelphia yeah, the Jade Cargill. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just leaves. Goes to start stealing the batters. I gotta go, man, I got to go. Yeah, I got to go. <laughs> Shipping up. It's like, idea. Yeah, <laughs> how do you learn to climb up a 20-foot ladder? Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, so night two. Is Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits uh, versus the Final Testament? A, uh, yeah, AOP, yeah, yeah. In Long a hand. Philly street fight, I always loved AOP and uh, different than uh, NXT. Different than Bloodline Rules. Yeah, different than Bloodline Rules. <laughs> it's a Philadelphia, Philadelphia street, street fight. fight. Yeah, yeah. DIY. Yeah, that, that was really that um, was, those are the days. Hey, Karrion Cross made it to Mania. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. He made it. He he was like he was sitting at home all year being like, there's no fucking way I'm gonna be on WrestleMania. I'm like, big ring. They like their gimmicks, man. This is like another like a death metal dark house of black gimmick, right? Right. right. It's like for the alts. Yeah. The yeah. alts, yeah. Did you see him uh put the Break bat? Break the bat? And yeah. He's just like <laughs> they, well, that's what happened. They were like, You're on WrestleMania. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Getting over, brother. Yeah, yeah they might have just. It's it, it might be just because they want what's her face on the show. They too. love feats of strength. Scarlet. Oh, she's so boring. We need to now. appeal to the simps. So they just <laughs> they gotta put you know simpomania. Yeah. Uh, L.A. Knight. So uh, that nah, whatever that matches. Whatever. Uh, L.A. Knight versus A.J. Styles. We kind of already talked about this. Um, yeah, it's 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 dead in the water. But they're trying every. They're using every piece of ma- magic. Who's gonna win though? LA That's. Yeah, you think LA. so? I yeah. Think Yeah, like yeah, he could, yeah. he could. Yeah, yeah. So it's definitely for Rob and um. That should be giving, the Philly street fight. Yeah, <laughs> because they attacked each other at their homes. Yeah, it looks they like they've already kind of thing. blood feuded it. Yeah. yeah, so they that should be the Philly street fight. That would give give me a little juice for that. But I, uh, to me, that's the besides the I that and the IC are like the two most overrated matches as far as um hype goes. Yeah. It's like uh, a lot you of know stuff only came into last two weeks you, you know? gotta feel bad for la Knight though because he's like he was on like this tear well and they got they got the rock, rock they got the punk, CM punk yeah and then isn't someone else get thrown in there or came, came back and yeah. then um yeah and then all the vince stuff happened and then injuries happened and then it's just kind of like oh uh, we need a little hey, one well, Yeah, he's always good. He's oh, always see, I good. was going to say the exact He's going to be opposite. super over because everyone's going to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, know, um, that, like. I was gonna say <laughs> you guys are forgetting one major detail of this L.A. Night run. He sucks and he's lame. <laughs> <laughs> he's like a 40-year-old guy wearing skinny jeans and Tims. The Tims, yeah, the brown Tims. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, where's this guy from? Yeah. Not he's anywhere from, that, uh, that he's he, from L.A. It's in the first two letters. Actually. Oh, well, is that what, yeah. That's why he's on all the commercials because he did acting and the small commercial work forever. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget all the fucking deodorant. Yeah. Yeah. Get the fuck. He did. Yeah, he's if like, you go on YouTube, there's an, a whole thing. There's also the you ever see him when he's doing the workout with Triple H. He's, he's doing the workout. With, right. He does. He does that. Well, that's oh, cool. Wow. Well, they and Mondo. Uh, that's in house. <laughs> Mondo that's did it house. for uh, a long time too. Yeah, but um, La Knight is like. Oh, that's why. That's why they rumored Kylie Ray left AEW because she went and did that for 2K while she was on AEW. Oh, contract. really? I thought it was because and uh, then they Chris started Jericho to... tried to rape her. Well, that too, probably. Oh, okay. But like, <laughs> it was that plus the, all the heat and then uh, her getting buried. With the, with no, the, I'm with sorry. The I just, off, it was, it's really all the delivery, really. You know, it's like. Well, no, they did a good job. 
She's a great person. Yeah, he's not good at problem problem Jericho, shit. What if they, I? That's become... when he should have went on break. They should have been like, no, no, and no, then... because then that's like guilty. You know what yeah, I mean? That's but... like that's like, you're guilty. Yeah, I guess that kind of looks like. Yeah, but, but they, they could have they... did an actual investigation and got to the bottom yeah. of it. You know, like sheets and sheets of data. Yeah. Well, uh, he's he's put all his resources towards the tournaments. Yeah, and the and the analytics. He doesn't have time or resources to. I don't. I don't know really anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. You know? like, yeah. I'm sure it's fine. It's the safest place to work. Yeah. In AEW. Yeah. What? Well, that's any uh, lawyer and Brian Danielson. Well, you know, uh, even Punk said um, on his interview, like you know, because I don't know much about this one. The woman Mega. Ah, we switched right back to AEW, but you know, like the lawyer M Mega, yeah. who's like. The lawyer, they, she's like a Jaguars person, but she's in the thing. And, like, there's rumors of her having relations and, like, you know, whatever. And Brian Last and Cornette always say, like, the lawyer. And and CM Punk said it the same way. It was like, oh, it was a few people and the lawyer. Yeah. It was like, ooh, yikes. Like, ouch. But yeah, apparently she's, they, not, she's not in the same position anymore. They, they, what was the other thing I heard about with, like, the Jacksonville Jaguars and, like, they don't. Um, they the the company doesn't really take care of the Jaguars. It's like one of the worst stadiums and worst like infrastructure, but like med and like just accommodation to the players and the a, staff, and that like reflected also in AEW as well. I think Punk said something. Like, That's right, what it was. Yo. It was all yeah, the physical therapy. Yeah, yeah, and it's like, how do you treat the Jacksonville Jaguars? And then when I listen to Cornette, they were like, yes, we've heard that happens. Well, well, there, there was too. a few years ago. There was a guy. Who on the Jaguars who tweeted Tony Khan and like had a Twitter beef with him and he's like release me and he's like oh this is the only way to talk to you on Twitter whatever oh, like wow, he like yeah. laid into him yeah, it wasn't anybody toxic. of note of note it was like a starter you know it was like a defensive like somebody who's on the team yeah and he was like yeah yeah he was like oh like basically called called Tony a clown it's just interesting I think but it was yeah, also because crazy. of the UK thing where the he he did get picked up well that was great too on that it was just might have right been malicious back to, intent as well yeah. well it was definitely a malicious intent and Punk said, kind of alluded to that but he's like it was fun it was an adventure yeah it was on the tube but it's yo, like I ride the blue line in Chicago he had to yeah. research his own doctors and do his own rehab yeah. and his surgery that's fucking crazy dude. He and, and you know what's crazy he hasn't spoke to Tony since Wembley they never spoke again after Wembley that's what Punk says, at least. Crazy. Last time I heard from. Back to Mania. Um, Io and Bailey for the women's title. This kind of uh, Bailey. Bailey. This kind of just me. We were really hyped for Bailey winning, and then it was just like because Io should not be a champ. Yeah, well, Io should not also be the champ. Hugger probably. Bailey. Hugger I don't Bailey? think that's gonna happen now. We were hyping that up. We're gonna like, yeah. Give me those member. I think I'm ready for Bailey Hugger Bailey member. Has berries. it been? Has anything been teased? Like you know. No, I think they're just arguing. Nah, because they Paramore spent the Paramore Philly? They spent the Paramore budget <laughs> on Little Wayne. Paramore. Bailey's Bailey's been lobbying that oh. she wants. Well, she, yeah. So I mean, yeah, whatever. Nah, I want to see Hugger Bailey. I want to. I want to see. I want to see the wacky waving inflatable arm flailing two men. Yeah. Uh, Seth versus Drew for the uh, World Heavyweight Title. I mean, Drew, I had a Drew. long argument with 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 Sean about this last night that he doesn't think that Drew's going to win. Sean, sh sh Sean ringside of ringside, ringside of ringside the Tuesday uh, show. So, well, so what? I mean, I, to me, it's like a mile away, Drew. Like, like the most obvious, even more obvious than Cody winning or Gunther winning. Like, the most obvious thing to me is that Drew destroys Seth. I don't think Seth's very healthy, and it, I think this should open the show, and by the time the main rolls around, you've already forgot about this match. And Drew... And you forgot that a heel took the belt. Like, that's the whole point. And Drew, Drew should have his... Well, Drew's doing great work. He needs to be rewarded. He should be rewarded from being the empty arena champion yes, as well. Yes, I think it's uh, And he should get a mania signs win. Signs point... What is it? Let me just pick the thing. All signs points. And, uh, <laughs> you know, well. it's like, yeah, it, it doesn't really... Like, him, him as a heel now doesn't really make up for what he missed out on in 2020, but... It's still like but a. He needs that run, and I, and then they can culminate with the punk at punk match at SummerSlam, right. and they and, and then put the belt on Punk, well, and then. The and Punk is also on commentary in this match. I I think he's gonna like do something to both of them because he's like I I, I oh see I don't I, think, hate, I, don't think he's I hate 
I hate both of these dipshits. I, maybe he does more with his mouth here, like, and just kind of like, you know. He said that his mouth works. He said that his wife said that yeah, his mouth works. Yeah, my wife said. Aaron was like, oh, they meant oral. You got a good I mouth. I was like, what? I was like, what? That's what they're saying on Twitter and he shit. Did, he did put it weirdly. Like, tell him that, yeah. Dude, my wife tells me my mouth works. It's like weird. Oh, that's crazy. I think it's just because you bitch at home a lot. I think that's what it was. they were getting at. You know? Yeah, it was like, well, you could say like, my wife can't shut me up. So, you know, but it's delivery. Was, you know, it'd be like, you know. "What that mouth do?" Well, I think it's like wrestling fans. I mean, the brain immediately goes. Well, because he wanted to, see, he wanted to get the simp, the simp, the me- simp tweets. Yeah, he, he knows what simp that. tweets. Um, yeah, I think, I, in my opinion, they don't even need CM Punk. Don't even want CM Punk to let CM Punk do his thing at the desk. It's gonna be good. Because it's gonna be a great match because he's on commentary and he's like one of the best commentators. It's gonna be awesome. Ever. Yeah. So let him do that. I don't need him coming in with his fucking bracket arm trying to do some. That's moves. why it'll. That's why it'll work because if Seth can't really go. Uh, punk can carry it with commentary. Well, yeah, and, and so Drew kills him, and you know what? And then how about this? Because and they will come over to the booth and say shit to him, like he slammed the head on the desk. Yeah, you're yeah. like that. He spilled yeah. my water. Mm. But um, you know, we, we, like the narrative. It's a nine dollar uh, water, brother. <laughs> so it's a Voss. Uh, the narrative that I was like the fantasy book that I was doing is like, okay, it's just a fucking, uh, you know, assault. Drew just finds the weak point. Just brew. It's Drew. Beating him down, slowly walking, talking. And then, so that's what I was saying before they announced Punk. So now if you add Punk into like, oh, come on, that man's got a family type of like vibe to the match. It kind of makes, it gives another new wrinkle. And then Drew wins, stands up on the thing. Ah, da, 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 punk on the announce table. Yep. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's see what's this. Oh, Yo, you that. know what? He should just fucking put that purple ass briefcase in a fucking recycling bin and forget about it. I could care less. And when he does, it's just going to make me angry because I've forgotten. <laughs> you know, it's just going to make like whatever he shows up because that other the titles and stuff that they have going on right now is so hot. Whenever he shows up, it's just going to piss me yeah, off. Yeah, they could really fucking derail like either one of these, like the main or. Well, even I don't want it involved in, in. I don't want it involved in. Um, Ooh, I have an idea. Philly will shit all over him. I don't want him involved in the IC. I don't. You want gotta really realize also we're in Philly and it's gonna be like this. This crowd is very. How about this? I think I got it. I don't like it. They're gonna let you know. I think I got it. So six pack tag team ladder match. Night one. Night one. Some uh, DIY win. Or the, or yeah, the DIY win or like the well I'm, now I forgot about the Dudleys. Well, let's just forget about the Dudleys for now. DIY or another team wins. Damian Priest and Finn Balor get into an argument. And either F- Damian goes, okay, fine, and cashes it in to get, like, you know, a, a, like a, a mm-hmm. match against, like, a tag team match. Like, he cash- the cash-in should be regarding the tag teams. It, it, it keeps him out of the main, keeps him strong, keeps Judgment Day strong, and you could go either way. Finn could pressure him to cash in. Then now that's sowing the seeds of dissension. Or Damien does it, or it's like a, t- a team effort, and they it's a plan. So you could either strengthen them, or you could just, do, you know, make them argue. It's never been done before. It would be a shock, right? It would be a shock, like, oh, my God, you didn't know. I bet you didn't know any title, right? So he cashes in. Because, yo, come on, that briefcase is fucking purple, dude. You're not going for the world title with no purple briefcase. Yeah, they don't. I, I mean, as much, I, I, they got way too uh, much out of this Judgment Day thing. Just in general, it was well, like I mean, a mistake. It wasn't even house money. Yeah, and only got the, way, cool the legs once were edge way left. Edge was the uncool. It one. got cool, but Rhea <laughs> helped it out a lot. I think the Dom thing also. I, honestly, it's just Dom and Rhea that really carried it. To be honest with you, it wasn't Finn. Baby and Priest. And then it's just, <laughs> it's just I'm gonna hold the belt. Yeah. Yeah, but do I want to see Drew and fucking Damien? Yeah. I got screwed again. He could get cried. Well, okay, yeah. all could, right, all could, right. It if, could, it could, but then like they're they're gonna want pumpkins soon. So it's like, what do you do? You know, triple threat, protect punk. Goes in. Blindside. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Drew got screwed. And Damien just um, transitional champion. Not a big deal, but at least he gets his money in the yeah. bank. Yeah. 
quick sidebar. Um, the girl, I, <laughs> you know, last night we were at like pretty much the most uh, hardcore of the hardcore. You know, black t-shirts as far as the eye can see. Uh, you know, blood and beer and deathmatch stuff. And the girl that I was hanging out with wore a SmackDown shirt. She had like a so like just black shirts as far as I could see. She wore just Smackdown. WWE yeah. SmackDown blue, like she's on Team Becky Lynch, yeah, just, right? Yeah. And like you think, and so she was, and so she, she had like with the hand on. Yeah. So she yeah. she <laughs> walked. Uh, <laughs> she so she walked in and she was like, oh my god, like she she felt the. Oh, I can't believe I'm the wearing it. Judgment. A, I'm wearing a, well, I wasn't judging. You know, hey, where you wearing Well, they you were want. judging. They could have been judging her. But they, it was also a mixed crowd, so, right. you know. But it's just, you know, you, theoretically, you could see where it's like, it's very funny. It's like, oh, I'm going to this, like, deep underground arts show, and I'm wearing a royal blue SmackDown shirt. So she's saying that to me, and I go, hey, don't worry. You're not the lamest person here. That guy's carrying a replica Money in the Bag briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> there was. Just oh, running just the purple briefcase, the classic green. Oh, they had a Philly one. I didn't even realize. Oh well, well this guy at the show because it just had the WrestleMania logo on it, and that was it. Probably. Oh, and it was probably the it was probably the Eagles green. Oh, the regular one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, people like walking around with that shit. Like I said, it's like Iron Man. They want to put all the. They want to have a Hulk Buster. Like <laughs> they want to have the turnbuckle. They want to have the belt. They want to have the Cody belt. They want to have this, that. The Adrenaline. Six yeah. shirts on. Yeah. Like they want to have everything. So I, I, I feel like I made her feel better. I was like, listen, you're, you're fine because this guy came to this eat the yeah, turnbuckle with show a with a briefcase. with a replica briefcase. Shout out, Michelle. Thanks for coming to the show last night. Uh, so last but not least is the SmackDown Forever. Undisputed WWE Universal Championship match. Roman Reigns champion versus Cody Rhodes. All right. Uh, Joe, give me some quick quick uh, lightning round. Yes or Just give me yes or no answers. Okay. Uh, does Stone Cold appear? No. Does wait, 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 wait. I think he, during this match, I think he'll appear on the show. I think The Rock will have, uh, uh, Rock has nothing to do. He'll be in a segment on the show. With Austin or, or Cena. And okay, in regards to just this match, yeah. does Stone Cold get involved in this no. match? Does John Cena get involved in this no. match? Does Rikishi get involved in this match? No. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Uh, rewind. I want Jimmy and Jay to go time limit draw. Rikishi come out. All three of them too cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dope. Um, does Jacob Fatu or what the hell is the other guy's name? Tom Tomatonga get involved. You get anything like that? Um, Does yeah, The Rock's grandma get involved? I, yeah, I don't want to. Uh, now they're putting her in the Hall of Fame, too. Is she alive? So, yeah. Um, Probably throw people's elbow. It's kind of hard. I, it might go crazy with a whole family thing, like I say, with Dustin Rhodes. And, yeah, all right. uh, no. <laughs> Does Goldust appear? Yes. Night two. We're talking about this match. Yeah, we're talking night about two. one yes. on one. Oh, you thought oh, for the tag? No, I'm. T I'm well, I'm asking you about night. This two. is about the main event. This right, is about right. the main event of the weekend. So you Cody. think that Dustin might get? Oh, wow, that's interesting. Uh, okay, so does Cody finish the story? Uh, I don't know. As the weekend went on, I've kind of I've swayed back to to maybe no. I think they're gonna let the marks. Uh, they're gonna bleed the marks for another year with this. Yo, I just love watching people get upset. So what? I'm okay with I'm okay with him winning too. Oh. I want him to, but it's like you know, they might let it go, but it's like it's WrestleMania forty, so it's seventy thousand like, you know. people in the uh, Yeah, they, they, they care a lot about that shit, yeah, by yeah, the way. They, they want these number they want the modern What's the Hogan number? Hogan's Right, so you need somebody who Yeah, you need to cleanse all the What's the Hogan number? 17, 14, something? Uh, that, yeah. Yeah. And you know what else? Here's it's the just key. silly that they make decisions around that. You Here, know, like, here's the key. And, and when they should do something else. Here's the hint. Here's the major hint to solve the mystery. And I mentioned this before. So I'll try to, I'll try to keep it brief. But in AW... Cody had full creative control, more or less, of what he was doing and how he wanted to present himself and whatever, right? And his main idea, the flagship idea for Cody, was that if I don't win this match, I can never challenge for the title. So I think in Cody's brain, 
he the likes, opposite. He likes to, you know, and he said this on Ariel Hawani too. He goes, you know, even when I was walking up the ramp at Mania, I saw people in tears. And I had to like look at them and nod at them and say like, okay, it's going to be okay. It's, gonna, it's all going to work out. And I think that he like likes that. He likes like that. Don't worry, kid. Like, well, don't uh, worry. We'll uh, come back up together. You know, this is just a, this is just an obstacle. And think about Dusty too. Think about the Dusty thing. Like that kind of falls in line with the vibe of like the working man. Like maybe he ain't the the son of a plumber, but like he's losing. But it's like I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. So I think that Cody likes the idea of losing again, and I think that it be, and guaranteed that they're looking at the Hogan number, and I think that Cody's like. All right, well, I proved last year, or, or whoever, they could all agree that he proved last year that he didn't need the dub to be the champ. He was, still the, he was really the champ all last year. He was the champion of WWE yeah. all last year. Top guy. Top guy, by, by far. He didn't need the belt to be the champ. And I think he's ready to prove that again. And I think that it's, a, it's easy for him to win. It's easy. Yeah. It's, it's easy. It's, but you it's know what's a challenge to, 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 keep the to, heat to get it, to yeah. keep it going. And I want to see it going because I don't want to see a dry year of Cody defeating all comers. You know, like. Right. Then who does he fight? Um, maybe uh, Gunther. You know, something like that. But Gunther ain't losing either. Oh, fuck that. I hate that. I hate when the IC person jumps into the Royal Rumble. Like when the mid-tier guys are like entering the Royal Rumble. It's like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Oh, you forgot uh, Kevin Owens, Logan Paul, uh, Randy Orton. I don't have an updated list now I'm thinking about that. Yeah. Huh. Well, I mean, We're that's really the only, other matches. Yeah. That's really the only one that I was thinking of. Yeah. Okay. That's like whatever. Yeah. Who wins? It's literally to sell just the... Uh... Randy? Nah. Base Belts, the belt, Randy's too big for that belt. Yeah, Randy's yeah. too big for that belt. Uh, well, I guess you could, yeah, if it's like, oh, this is the last one he needs yeah, to have won. Yeah. What do they call it? The triple crown? Right. What do they call it now? Doesn't need the belt. Grand Slam champion? Yes. But I think you know he already is it? a Grand Slam champion. You know who needs it the most? Out Grand of Slam is when you uh, win world, yeah. intercontinental, and tag. World and no, tag, that's triple crown. And then Grand the, Slam is those three and European. And, and Rumble, maybe? No, because the first ever Grand Slam was Shawn Michaels. Heavy, IC, tag, European. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, so no. I guess any, like, so maybe they consider tertiary the US, belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, uh, that's, like, it's so messed up. Like, they were like, yo, the European title. And they were like, yo, we don't fuck with bidets here in WWE. Let's change it to United States. Nice and dirty, yeah. <laughs> the D'Lo Brown... All right, quiet down over there. What um, <laughs> uh, so what? Yeah, I think we're, uh, Kevin Owens needs the U.S. title the most. Yeah, uh, but you know, hey, keep it on Logan with his fucking podcast. Yeah, I think it'll just be a retain for him. Um, Beats both of them, stacks them. Are we done talking about the main? I mean, we're gonna go do a lot of the main also with the DraftKings stuff too. So we can yeah, just so let's go, go DraftKings. Let's get to the gambling. So uh, it's a free DraftKings pool unless you have the draft. You have to have the DraftKings account, but like it's a free pool you can enter. Um, you basically, we've done this for other pay-per-views where it's some silly kind of like mind bending questions that make for some funny content, right? It's like the most yeah. you get, it's like out of a pot out of like 25 K and like, if you get the most question, depending on how many questions are answered, correct, right? By how many of those people get all like eight, it's <laughs> you eight, and 8,000 8, say, <laughs> say there's eight questions and eight, you get eight out of eight, but like. 1,500 people, yeah. And also 8 out of 8. So it's like $10. Math, <laughs> yeah, then the math gets divvied up into like, you know, it all depends on how many you nail, you know. Right. So it could be like a $50 pot. It could be a $1,000 pot. No, but you can get paid you... 1000 or you can get paid $27.10. Have cents. you ever hit the whole 8? I think I've got 7 out of No, I think I... I don't think I've ever. I think I've gotten to seven, but seven was like okay. okay here's five was like bucks. eleven bucks. Another time was like twenty seven bucks. Like, Ooh, twenty seven. So twenty seven. My that sounds like an eight. That was the eight. one. I don't know which one it was. I was I was doing with you, and it was like the one where you kept going back and forth, and I was like, just do mine. 
<laughs> oh, well, yeah. Just do mine. Like, Stop uh, being over analytical. And then yeah. you got like three out of 10, yeah. and I got like nine out of right, 10. Right. It's like, oh, that makes sense. But then they could do this yeah, yeah. and this. Don't worry. You're just, then... you're just going to do it right now anyway. Right, so let's I'm, just. Exactly <laughs> I'm going to so, pick the exact opposite of everything. So it's usually like two answers or three answers or five or 10 answers. So we'll see. Uh, so who will win night one main event? Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins, The Rock and Roman Reigns. And then it says a lot of these are like any other result. So, so I guess like a DQ or a no contest. No, because a DQ would. Yeah, yeah. Go. You an audible. Yo, oh, if yo, you might hit because nobody's expecting him to tear his quad. So if you hit any other you're already, result, you're already thinking me too much. <laughs> I think it's just you know the I mean, heels, everybody's going to say. But <laughs> but if you if you it. bet on an accident, you could be one. In of eight the, of eight. The one in 21 the, and one. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah. it's like, oh, nobody thought he was going to tear his quad. No yeah. contest. Then it's like a 900 payout. Yeah, yeah so then you, when you win the 25,000 or whatever. Yeah. No, uh, Roman Roman, and... Are you going to do this on your phone too? You want to enter? Or... Uh, my phone's charging. I got okay, yeah. I got I to tweet about how miserable I am in Ring of Honor later. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Um, I just said the Rock and Roman Reigns for that. Rock and Roman for Who sure. Who will win the Intercontinental uh, Championship match? I said Gunther. It mm -hmm. says Gunther, Sammy. Any other result? Uh, who will win? Ooh, what about any other? Maybe they do a WrestleMania Nine with Gable. Oh, like Sammy hurts his knee. Can't continue. Oh, uh, like Yoko. Is this all you have for Gunther? There's nobody in the back with kids who I made cry who could come out. Oof. And then he's like, you know, adrenaline yeah, yeah. in my soul. Or no, he comes out to like proud to be an American or something. Yeah, that would really. I'm just going to say Gunther and play it safe. But like that could happen, too. It just feels odd. It feels odd that Gable is not going to be in the match because, you know, he, dra he attacked Gable. Yeah. He like dragged Gable out. He's used Gable as like a Gable's going to do something. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go any other result. Uh, uh, by the way, you can do this at the show, and I'll yeah. I'll help you with it. At the show, I'm, I am going to choose any other result across For the every board. across yeah, the board. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be the first ever person to ever win win all the money. <laughs> every dollar. Ten dollars. Yeah. yeah. It was like wow, this who, guy bet. Who will win the triple threat match? And just I just said Jade Cargill, Bianca, and Naomi. Uh, oh, the the six woman. Yeah, and then it has also on that one any other result. Um, Uso versus Us Uso. Jay, Jimmy. I said Jay. Any other result? Uh, who will win the matchup of mystery of matchup of the Mysterios? You're result? calling this? I just said Dom and Santos. No, was the was it last year where Dom fought Ray and there was the guy dressed like a cinnamon so piece of cinnamon? That? What is that? So the oh, it, a wrestler was in the yeah. it was in the yeah. thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, so oh, you remember? No, uh, I don't. Like, so the, 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 I forget. Yeah, it's, it's father versus son. <laughs> uh, yeah. Years and years. All and the damn it. cereal, brother. And uh, it, they basically did an Intuit TurboTax yeah. where, like, they changed all the graphics in the entire stadium, but it was for, like, father versus son. Yeah. So, like, Rey Mysterio's coming out, like, so ashamed of my and then this is when Dom. <laughs> the thing is just but like this is also when Dom had the 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 police angle, right? The jail oh, angle. The greatest. Yeah. The greatest. And he came out and he was all like this, and he had the Ray mask on too. And with uh, Dan Barry escorting him to the ring. Was Dan Barry Officer really there? Dan Barry. Really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, this one gets a little tricky. So this, who will win the six pack ladder match? It has all the teams. For by the way. The new Catch Republic. Did you hear what Cornette called it? He thought it was a, a Czechoslovakian political group. <laughs> new Catch Republic. Oh my god! Amazing. I said any other result for that one because of the Dudley thing. Well, for that one, or I'm picking. I'm, for that one, I'm picking one. I'm doing any other result doing except for that Republic. one. Yeah, I'm doing a new Catch uh, Republic. Oh uh, exactly. man. Uh, who will win the women's Scared match? Scared money don't make money, Joe. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, you're <laughs> preaching to the choir. Uh, Rhea for that one. It's it's pretty much just straight down the board. Uh, I said, or well, I have Cody here. As what? As just the main event, winning it's, it's, his match. So I might I might switch that back to Roman. So what does it say? Roman Cody. Any other result? Any result. I sure hope they don't bring everyone home with any other result. Awesome. Uh, there's and, none. There's no like. Will there be a chair used? None of those fun ones. Um, that's coming towards the bottom it gets a little more okay. creative so they did they did like an xl for the xl they it's not eight questions yeah, they did like 12 like every match where so sometimes it'll be like moxley versus mjf or or whatever right right and they just do that and then match, it was like yeah. will the chair will who will interfere and if they do interfere then if will they 
bounce off the bottom of the apron. Right. Like, you know, it was like so untied. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, United well, Drew States. Gulak, grab your yeah, yeah, sweater dr- rope. String. So, yeah, I just went with L.A. Knight, Logan Paul, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre. Okay. So this is where it gets good. So who, if any, will be the first Philadelphia Eagles player shown on the screen at WrestleMania? Jason Kelsey, Jalen Hurts, Saquon Barkley, or none of the above slash other? Oh, it's definitely none of the above slash other. It's going to be... um. No, well... Next question. But, that, 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 but you said it's Eagles player, right? Not Philadelphia. Eagles. Eagles. Um, the so next one is Sixers. There's an, I, I feel like it's going to be... There's an offensive lineman. I forget his name, but he's... Brandon Graham? It's either Brandon Graham, Mylotta, all of them, or um, fuck. I saw the guy's name. Basically, there's an up, up, down, down 2K24 tournament. Yeah, and this guy's like playing in it. I forget his fucking name. I don't. Know he's kind he's of like a baby face. He's like a white. He's like a ball white guy. Oh, ball. I want to say guy. his name's like Howard Johnson. That's Lane Johnson. Yeah, he worked out with Seth Rollins this weekend too. So, yeah, there you go. Lane made, he made Seth look like he was like five foot tall. Lane Lane so. Johnson. You out of here? Yeah. All right, man. Later. What uh? What are we doing for ROH? Okay, sounds good. But it's in your name. Okay, but I mean, we'll we'll still meet up before or whatever. Because they're gonna check an ID. I can't just say your name, right? You have to get the tickets. Yeah. We'll meet you there. Really? Oh wow. Okay. Tony Chimmel. Nice. That's cool. All right. Maybe we'll talk to him. The too. admin. <laughs> All right, man. We'll see you in a bit. Later. Thank you. Thanks for coming through. Uh, all right. So I just said Jason Kelsey with that. Uh, I mean, that would be an, a WrestleMania thing to do, but I think it's going to be Lane Johnson. Okay. Which is n- any would be none. Any or other. Any other. Okay. I, I don't think I think uh, Saquon Barkley hasn't played a game with the Eagles. No, I don't think so. I don't think they would risk him being in front of a Philadelphia audience. Yeah. Like that would that would be bad booking for yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. No, it's Kelsey. I think it's Kelsey because it's just Kelsey. Jalen doesn't like wrestling. Kelsey does. Yeah, I, I don't. Know. I don't see Jalen hamming it up. Plus, Kelsey is um a Kelsey name. Uh, right, and uh, he can take his shirt off and swig beer and love and exactly. start chanting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it can make that's sense. That's not um, a bad idea. And then he stuns Kelsey anyway. Yeah, just out of love, yo. But. That really is a loaded question, too, because Kelsey is retired. He's not really inactive. Yeah, but people are still buying really his jerseys. Inactive. It's not like they hate him. Well, he's yeah. not technically. He's not. <laughs> like a month ago. Like, I'm going to hit any other, and if it is Kelsey, I'm going to sue DraftKings because yeah. I'm going to un- over that technicality. Well, there's a lot of fuckery. With- I mean, it was, oh, Moxley Orange Cassidy. That's what it was. And it yeah, was how like, many- he made the lazy kicks, and it was like one. I said just like two to three like he normally does, and it was like. 12 but it weren't they weren't lazy they ended up being like japanese kick like strong style kicks. Right, it was like, like it was uh, subjective you yeah know, like and i yeah. was just like oh come on and there were then there was something else in the match too that was like shifty uh who is the 76er i said joel um and bead as well as tyrese maxi tobias harris or none of above other oh it's a hundred percent to Embiid uh glow sticks because you know i've been i lobbying- think it should be a beat maybe none on eagles now you know because none is an option. Yeah. This is where they mess with you because it's like none is like Yeah, very... you know, I think none or other has better odds on the Eagles because you get none and you get other. So you could have any other player. Yeah, I think I'll go Eagles, no. none. Um, and then I think Embiid because, you know. Definitely 100%. He just came back this week too. I think he came back and became active this week because of. Well, and, um, you know, we've been really, I've been lobbying for the Miz and our truth to become DX. Yeah. And that's not going to happen because they're split up and they're in the six pack. So we need some glow sticks. Yeah. We need like a need b- suck b- it. B- break it down. Yeah. yeah. So we got to. You might get in the ring and do all that. That might be possible. Here's a tricky one. Okay. Who of the following will be the first Philadelphia celebrity shown on screen? <laughs> Little Uzi Vert, Meek Mill, Kevin Hart. None of the above are shown. Yeah, that was my go to too. Remember, it's showing the first one. What did you say, Bill? Yep. But it's the first. It's the it's the first one that gets shown. That's the thing. That's yeah, where you. That's where. But Meek Mill is more of a Royal Rumble celebrity. They might. Kevin Hart's more. Of all a three are probably going to be there, but it's a matter of like you just guessing the right one they show first. So I I said Uzi Vert. Andrew Manji gear.
Yeah, uh, I think Kevin Hart as well. I agree with you. Uh, who of the Kevin. following will be the first always sunny right Philadelphia hit. actor shown on screen during WrestleMania? Uh, just yeah, the just three of them are none. Just, just no, no. It's the five. No, it's <laughs> it's all of them plus Devito or none or none. Caitlin Olson. I just said Caitlin Olson, but if what happens if it's both? You can't select both. I just said Caitlin Olson. I think that you just uncovered the real answer, which is none. Danny DeVito on there. My, I was like, uh. yeah, just because. But that's just because your Jersey Mike's finger, got the juice. <laughs> your, yeah, but that's that's like you're voting with your heart. Your finger just wants to touch Danny DeVito's name on yeah, that phone. Yeah. Like you I just, just like, want Danny DeVito at like wrestling. You just want to bet on Danny DeVito the to trash do something. Man. <laughs> yeah, the trash man. Yo, I mean, yeah. yo. And they that come might out be a the, backstage segment. They come out segment. as the Eagles, like with the with the yeah. eight on six pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yo, that might be the whole segment, actually. Oh wait, okay. So no, it's it. There's something else to it. Um, so they're backstage. It's but it's like a it's like a Pizza Hut commercial though too. You know, it's like one of these like segments that is talking about how delicious Snickers are or whatever. And yeah, and it's like. I think so. They, they come out if the three of them come out as the Eagles, who confronts them and beats them up? You know what I mean, like a like a like a bad guy team, or like they beat up JD Gender McDonough. Mahal. Yeah, or saying something like, you know what I mean? They get they get like a good hand to like take some bumps for the always yeah. sunny guys. Yeah. Wow. I mean, our Philly Who's WrestleMania is so good. Comedians that prey off the stupidity of this you think awful this is a city. Joke. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. This dirty city. There's a show about being crass. <laughs> being crass, Be, is, being crass, you know. Being and, crass is that a yeah. word? What does that mean? Crass is like uh, Brian. Okay, but it was. I was like grass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, like our truth is dressed yeah, like yeah. an eagle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gets like everyone confused. Yeah. Yeah. If the <laughs> trash man doesn't appear, we riot. All right, well, that does The greatest matter. Philadelphia wrestler <laughs> of all time. They shouldn't even be inducting Paul Heyman. They should be inducting uh, fucking the trash, <laughs> trash man. So, I mean, I haven't done my That needs a sig. He's tweaking like a crack fiend, Brian. Am said. I? Yeah. Am I? Brian, what are you? Brian, why don't you go enjoy your vacation? Not Somebody Brian, Bren. Oh, Bren. Bren. What's up, Bren? Brian would never say that. I don't think Brian, Brian was here at the beginning of the show. I like if you think that. I was tweaking like a crackhead now, you should have seen me trying to sleep on this freaking prison cot in this hotel last night. Yeah. One side of the hotel is powered. Then <laughs> after 1.30, the other side, that one outlet goes out, the other one. Oh, my God. It was, it was brutal. It, was brutal. Um, it wasn't the drugs. It was the bed. Well, we, we went well over three hours. We had a break, too. But we also started late, so I guess it was like three hours. What um? Do you have anything else you want to add? I think we covered I everything, right? Am I mean, on shit. Cheese steak redemption tour. I yeah, I'm, I'm I was hungry. Talking all this shit that I was gonna get one as soon as I popped into town. And all I got was some below average Philadelphia pizza. Mac. Yeah. I'm sick to my stomach about it. So I. Here we get some good cheese steak. Yo, you know what? I've settled for some Wawa at this point. But we're too, too close. We're too close to. That's settle. like after the show. We're too close to settle for Wawa. Well, we'll do that after the show. All right. Well, uh, thank you everyone for coming out. That's it. So put on your helmet that you're going to be yeah. wearing for the show. It was easy to and... put on a wood. It was just aesthetic. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, right? Stay tuned for um, DVD extras of me whipping Joe with the um, weight belt in the parking lot of WrestleMania tomorrow. Yeah, we're going to. The podcast is over then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then did you see Rock whip the referee? Yeah. Which was awesome. He because out of the ring, the yeah. referee got up like. Like it was like it was like when you uh, there's like a game where like if you land in the fire your your character starts running around yeah, you know yeah. like it's like he was like ba- like he bounced to this butt land in the fire he didn't, like he, instantly sell like he like oh. he was like he was like ah yeah, <laughs> like, the ring and then he was like oh now I gotta sell like it like like a thought that process was like it was through. like a genuine reaction to getting whipped with a like ten pound weight belt <laughs> yeah he was like oh fuck and he just yeah. like got out he's just yeah. fight or flight like got yeah, out yeah, of the ring got, that, got the fuck out good of good for him. And then can you imagine in the back, like, he's, like, probably, like, he goes home, he's got, like, a fucking burst, he's got burst kidneys and, like, just a welt across his back, and the rock's like, yeah, <laughs> sorry, I was just ad libbing there, brother. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, Fuck you. <laughs> I'll send you a case of... Yeah, 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 I can send you, send you some Terramana, yeah. Terramana tequila, yeah. yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, I hope that's all right, brother. The guy literally, like, he's like... I don't drink. Can't, <laughs> he can't walk, he's, like, crippled, he's like, ah, 
Thanks for being a good sport. Um, He's like, that was okay, right? The guy's like, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Johnson. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Dwayne. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for us, I guess. Did you see that MJF said that The Rock stole yeah. whipping Cody? The whipping what? Cody was MJF. Oh, that was his yeah. thing? It was pretty good. He was like, it was a stretch. It was a stretch. He's like, you whip Cody, then you buy from my ex. I'm a fan, but... You stole the lashings. You're insulting. He did something else. You involved family, and now you're buying artwork from my ex. Yeah, yeah. She used to be the artist. She did really nice work. Which is exactly how MJF met her. He was like, look at this artist who's a babe. Let me slide into those DMs. Yeah. So, Not that one. Yeah. Oh, what a mark proposed hey. sometimes you gotta hey you know what no i mean i'm just saying like not proposal as a act but like just mjf in like he's like oh you know they dated for like two months yeah then, oh you want to get married i got yeah. a lot of money i'm a big star i'm a big star now yeah. hey you know what hey um you stand there i'll come over here and get on one knee and we'll get this guy on the street to yeah. take a photo <laughs> of it you know, and we'll put, and put it all up. over facebook yeah social media social yeah. media you know what i i I wish him and Alicia Tao a very long and happy life together. Oh, <laughs> forgot about to say that they're dating. <laughs> All right, great show. Great show, brother. High five me in person here. We're we're going we're going to uh, we're gonna go to get some cheesesteaks and go to Ring of Honor, and then uh, some of us are gonna go to SmackDown. Oh, you guys are going to Smack SmackDown? No. Oh. Wells Fargo. And then we'll be down there tomorrow, and we're gonna be recording a whole bunch of content tomorrow. I have a vlog we're gonna post too. If you have um a stupid opinion. Or a stupid look on your face. There's no hiding from us tomorrow. Yeah. Especially if you got like merch on your body, like Yo, if you're yeah. carrying around one of those briefcases. Like we're gonna we're gonna be on you. Purple briefcase. Yeah, the purple briefcases only. Purple briefcase. All right, that's it. All right. Well, someone's gonna shut the stream off. Uh, so. out, of, <laughs> out of time. Uh happy WrestleMania. <laughs> happy uh yeah. yeah, you can just press stop. Press you stop. know you should you should, if you can see hit black.